Let's know I came if uh, that sound got that glitchy, glitchy network. Sounds good. The water I can uh, today is coming. He said it's all solid. Hey, Charlotte Wong, Charlotte Wong. Back out here once again through the spirit of poverty. How about you know to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great and to push this message of the true gospel throughout the airways of the World Wide Web. All right? Before we get started, as always, we're going to give all praise to our power. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutation and blessings to all the hopeful elect scattered throughout the four winds of the earth that believe wholeheartedly in this true doctrine. All right, yo, we at the end. Okay. Um, uh, Nero was found guilty on all 34 counts of uh, that hush money case, and what what what, what that is doing is. It's stirring up the patriotic Edomite, all right? It's stirring up these patriots that think Trump is the savior, all right? And his sentences, uh, the judge, the date from, uh, for them to uh, hold his sentence is July 11th, all right? So if he was guilty on all 34 counts, that means he got some jail time coming because if anybody else beside him they going to jail. They wouldn't even have walked out of the uh, No, uh, no, he, he would have been. Yeah, he would have he been put in cuffs and, and walked to the feds, because that's a federal president. crime. Yeah. yeah. Okay? That's life. He would right. already be uh, registered and going through the whole process of being locked up. Right, so, um, and what it's doing is stirring up the emotions and the spirits of the people that have bought into that bullshit, all right? See, it's the beauty that the Most High has given us to understand and through the scriptures. Uh, give me second half of 15. Okay? Because what's, what's going to come in that is going to be a uh, civil war. All right? Civil war is going to come out of that, man. Yeah. Because these Edomites are fake. Remember the Edomite woman that was crying for Trump to come save him a few years ago? You had, you had that, you got all these people that think Trump is the savior. Yeah, you had you had Jake talking about he's our king. Niggas for Trump? Yeah. Yo? Yeah, yeah, rallies or whatever. Meanwhile, he's playing that role like he's not with the agenda yeah. of the uh, with the elite. And now you see how the how our society is. Alright? So they turn up the emotions. Biden destroyed America. Trump was supposed to save it, but now he's getting ready to go to jail. All right? What do you think the people are going to do if they lock us up? There will be a great insurrection in this country. Right? And, 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 and it just so happens, all this is happening when it's hot out. Remember the last time uh, it was hot out, you had heat mics in these different uh, states at they, the at they state capitol yeah. on to the teeth. Yeah. Best on demanding that they uh uh reopen the country. Yeah. I got something for you. It's uh Isaiah chapter 19, verse 1. It says, The burden of Egypt, behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud, and shall come into Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence. And the heart, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. Right. And that's what's happening. The, 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 the spirit of Egypt is, is uh, of for America is starting to melt in this place. People are fed up. The Apostle Bar just did a video of a guy that uh, basically fed up with society. Yeah. It's saying basically it's over with. All right? But he don't know, like Apostle Bar was saying, they don't know the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? That's why they don't have no hope yeah. in nothing. 
Okay? Yeah, because, uh, you know, the, I've been listening to Gerald Salente, and uh, his recent, um, he had that judge back on there, and his recent one, he was like, where's the religious leaders at? Where is it? Where is these people at? Why ain't they speaking up? And I'm thinking to myself, that, what about us? We can't, we're not even in the circle of any talk. But that's the most high doing that. <laughs> He's saving his, his, his men for last. Right, right. All right, okay. because it's gonna come a time they gonna hear the true message of Yahweh by Shimei Abishai. And when I say true message, the most high is gonna use his true men to give you the true message. Yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. because these other groups ain't gonna do it. They go on these podcasts and they beat around the fucking bush. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. They're trying to appease the masses yeah, they, of, the, of all Israel. Yeah, they, they politically correct. Yeah. Okay? They go on these platforms and they and they try to convince black people to keep the law of God. Man, niggas can't even keep the law in your congregation. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's like you know? a, that's like a house burning. And they in there, they downstairs, everybody upstairs, and they know that the house is burning. But they not, nobody yelling upstairs to say, hey man, hey, wake, wake, wake up. The house is burning. They just, they just chilling and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Into it, into it, until they see it it's all in gold and then trying to run out. Yeah, because, you know? because what these, what these other groups, they, they, they have the big congregations for money sake. Right. All right. That's why they don't go on these podcasts and, and speak about the missiles, all right? Change. They don't speak about martial law. They don't speak about the They war. don't speak about nothing, man. Nothing. Yeah, Prophecy. They don't it's go it's about nothing. reaching as many black people as you can so, they, so, so that they can come to you and start giving you money. That's why IUIC has an outreach program in, in federal prisons. Right. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You had a Jake. He read that's in the prison that follows the apostles and elders the great millstone all right the, 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 uh, he follows the doctrine of the great millstone and he was reading from uh, a a from, from from the federal penitentiary a flyer that got in there of IUIC okay because you know why they got to do them outreach programs so they can cover their ass with the IRS yeah okay yeah that's how you know they under a 501c3, man. Yep. Because when we got back, when we, get we had to deal with Esau's paperwork. You ain't got to deal with fucking Esau when it comes to pushing the word of Yahweh by Shimei Rashad, man. Right. Yep. Right. Yep. Uh, That's why the scriptures speak about men that are, uh, who, who's, who's, uh, who's, uh, who's, uh, how does it go? Whose heart is their own belly? Oh, yeah. We was reading that last okay. week. But anyway, go ahead. Yeah, back in Isaiah 19 and 2, it says, and I will set, and I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptian, and they shall fight every one against his brother. And that's what's getting ready to happen. Remember the documentary that came out on Netflix called The Family? Yeah. I remember Apostle Ramlock did a, uh, like a two hour show on that, because they highlighted Trump in that documentary, in that, in these, these Edomites, you know, were saying that he's the savior. Yeah, he's the chosen one. He's the chosen one. Okay? There's also a new, um, I was telling these brothers about it on Thursday, there's a new documentary they dropped on Trump, and I've been watching it lately. I was watching it last night. But basically, his upcoming. So they basically trying to paint to the people, like, this is that guy. You he's know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why he, this whole... He being sloppy. Yeah. Ahead, bro. No, no, this whole little scandal of him going to and all of that shit. Watch what come, what's gonna come out of that. They got a right. whole master plan for this. Mm -hmm. This is a master plan that's put together yeah. first in the heavens, yeah. on the left hand side, all right? The heavenly father has Satan get with these Edomites on the earth for this plan to uh, 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 come, come to fruition, yeah. man. Look, he was dealing with what he, you know, he's getting um, charged on that hush money. Yeah. He was dealing with the same problems when he was first building uh, the Trump Towers. He was dealing with the same problems, and what he did, when he, it's going to show you, he went to a um, a lawyer that was such of a Satanist that nobody wanna, didn't want to fuck with this dude. And when he hired that guy, and he was stepping around with this guy, everybody kind of got scared and backed off because it is they knew that that lawyer he was dealing with was a high top notch Satanist. Yeah, you yeah. know, yeah. Pete, that it's a good little it's a good little watch. 
Oh. Yeah, you see they, see, they trying to show that he's being persecuted right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. It's all a goddamn show, man. Yeah. It's all a show. And, and people are heavily invested the most of them. Yeah, they, they, they show because he should have been arrested. Yeah. If that would have been a, a so-called nigga, you know what I'm saying? He would have, they would have. He wouldn't even had traps. Yeah. yeah. They would have snatched his ass up real quick. Yeah. Shit, the first felony. Right. It yeah. wouldn't took no, how many felonies? 34. 34, 34, 34, 34 fucking what felonies. Fuck? Come on, man. That's enough to bury you, man. Yeah. The same day. Just kill him. Right here in the court building in front of everybody. Insurrections. Yeah, that's but that uh that's federal uh money, you know, like hiding like, money yeah, with like, his LLCs and all that. Yeah. But he knew the ins and outs. He ain't the only one doing that shit. Yeah, right, right. Okay? Yeah. yeah. That was it. Or he got a little more. Go ahead. It says, um And I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone. They shall fight everyone against his brother. And everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. Yeah, and that's what's getting ready to take place. It's a reason they put that spirit of that movie Civil War out there. Okay. All right. All right? Yeah. Where where you had uh, uh, civilians that have formed their own little military, and they was after the president. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. We in for for a, 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 a hot summer, man. Okay, Lord willing. Yeah, oh, this is a, this is a very deceptive move, man. Hell yeah, the, the, uh, the, the deception coming from the devil right now was very high. Yeah. It's very high. And he, matter of fact, um, Second Thessalonians two. Second Thessalonians chapter two, and uh, I start at uh, verse eight. It says, "And then shall that wicked one be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, uh -huh. and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, uh -huh. with all power and signs and lying wonders." Yep, yeah, and that's what we're witnessing. We're seeing uh, lying wonders. Go ahead. And with all deceivableness, all deceivableness, is that's what's going on right now. Okay? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And with all deceivableness, all righteousness, in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. That's right. And the, the, the real truth is only coming from the Most High's prophets. All right? And that's the men of Great Millstone, beginning with the apostles and elders, on down in all the affiliate camps. Yeah. All right, just because you got camps that know that they Israel and they teaching Israel don't mean that they men of the Lord. Okay? So that was it, right? Uh, this one more. Go ahead. Says, uh, and for this cause, the Most High shall send them strong delusions uh -huh. that they should believe a lie. Yep. And a lot of our people have jumped on to the Trump uh, bandwagon. Be still being played. You still, you still don't get it. Still don't get it. Still don't get it, man. As long as these Edomites are over us, we're gonna stay at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. If they allowed to, I don't know if they are, but to vote, they'll be in the uh, the voting poll lines, man. Oh, yeah, Come, yeah. Come, uh, November. Uh -huh. Yeah. I've been noticing because every year they have those, uh, or every um, election year they have those jakes out there that are trying to get everybody to sign up to vote. Yeah, it's never Edomites, bro. Right. It's always Israelites that stand in front of Walmart. Yep. And they all in front of Walmart right now yeah. as we speak. Yep, I had that happen to me this week. Yep. Yeah. Northern Kingdom, Southern Kingdom. How you, are you registered to vote? Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. I hate this fool. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> she even looked like what the hell? Here it is. There's yeah. no there's no candidates that's running, really running against this, man. It's either Biden you or got him. Two choices. That's two it. choices. Two Where's the other? Every other year, you got like at least four, five, six people that's talking. But yep. nah, man, not this year. It's, it's way different. Yep. And I and I think like you know this whole little scandal shit, man. We may not we may not reach elections. Whatever is planned. Well, I don't well, think I don't think we'll uh, we gonna do it. We will. Fine. If we if we do reach elections, it's gonna be it's, it's not gonna be the same. 
All right? Mm -hmm. It's not going to be the same, man. No, oh, no. Really. You know? Because we, we are in, we, the, the prophecies are, are, are popping up the page too heavy right now. Uh -huh. Okay? You see what the damn them rats still bombing them other Palestinians, man. Yeah, yeah bro, they, they bombing the refugee camps. Yeah. People that's away from the, 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 the war. Right. And, and what did what did Trump tell the people he's gonna do? Anybody that's um, pro Palestinian, you're gonna get persecuted. That's what he said. Yeah. So so it's a it's a hell of a game. But hold up real quick. They they're the ones that's causing that conflict over there. Yeah. When these nations over there then already came together collectively and said, uh, stop, cease fires. Yeah. And they not stopping. This goes. It just goes back to Albert Pike's letter yeah. in in the 1800s. Can you push it? Can you push that button? Um. Yeah, uh, uh, it goes back to Albert Pike's letter of how they was gonna start the three world wars. Right. And the last world war was the uh, Zionist versus the uh, uh, Muslim uh, countries, and that's what we're seeing. That's what we're seeing. Yeah. But first, that plan started in the heavens. Yeah. Okay? Uh -huh. yep. and history is just really repeating itself. Because he's always been fighting against Persia. Since 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 going all the way back during the time of uh at the Khazarian Empire. And even further back, dealing with uh, the Greeks, the Greeks versus the uh Persians and the Medes. Yeah. It's Alexander. repeating itself, yep, Alexander. It's repeating itself. Yeah, Russia gonna get involved because they they invested in the Arab countries. All right. Yeah. Let's go to Second uh, Ezra 15. Oh, right. you had something? Oh, no. you had something? Go ahead. Uh, uh, you have? Nah, nah. I was just looking for that number mic. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. That's like I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Escape right here. Right. right. I said I put it in the chat. You can get it. Go ahead. Second Ezra 15 and one. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee, that speak against thee. Uh -huh. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Right, you caught up in this bullshit, this circus, and you ain't repenting to your by Shabbat Shah, your, your final destination is death. Uh -huh. All right? And the scriptures tell you death by pain. Woo. Yeah. Okay? Become a painful death. Pain. Agony. Misery. Yeah. Misery. All right? Yeah. Many great misery shall be done to them that in the latter times shall Should dwell on the earth, earth, man. Many great miseries are coming. Right. Uh, you you already seen uh, all kinds misery out here man you know they're gonna let you feel in your body physically and in your mind they gonna torment you yeah the scriptures say man you know you might be seeing your 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 child being put to death over and over and over again or some, some crap like that man yeah. verse 5 behold saith the lord i will bring plagues upon the world the sword famine death and destruction for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. It says, Therefore saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Talking about our people. Because the time is getting ready to happen to where the Lord finna start whooping Jake ass on a on a grand scale. Alright? A grand scale, man. Okay. Behold, the innocent and the righteous blood cries unto me. And the souls of the just complain continually. That's right. The souls of the just are those that have passed on and are back in the spirit world. Okay? And therefore saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood. Oh, the sons, the sons of the, us too. 
on the earth. All right, we complain it continually to the heavenly Father. Okay. And therefore, saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Uh -huh. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. Yeah, you got a lot of our people tied up into this whole Trump thing. So you're led as a flock to the slaughter. Because you, you, you still got Jake telling each other to the vote. All right? When there's, there's so much information out there that, that proves that your vote is not counted. There's no, elect, there's no elected president. There's all selected. All right? You still caught up in the juice. Right. You still lost in 2024, man. If they had to pay to vote, they would do it. If everybody had to pay $300 to vote, you would still have dumbass niggas out there paying that $300 just to put their vote in. And they'll just be taking your damn money. Yeah, man. They paying for the freeway now. It's already started in LA. They paying for the freeways over there. Look at that. You look, know? look. Remember years ago, this nigga Diddy was talking about vote or die? Yeah, right. Now look at this nigga. Uh, and you had a lot of you niggas believe in that nigga, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah they tough. used his ass. Yep. Yep. He had shirts of it. Yeah. yeah. That was they had commercials. Uh, commercials. That, remember that uh, Jada Kiss video? Why? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was in the video with the shirts. Yeah. A lot of yeah. niggas was They had a video with like a gang of stars in it. It was like, a, I don't know if it was commercial, but it was a, so many stars and they had the shirts. Oh. And it was they looked like they was like in the studio type shit. And they was talking about, you know, vote or, uh, you know, it's so... Yeah, oh, God. yeah man, because our people are a bunch of goddamn gummies and sellouts. Those that are high up. And, and they use them to wave a magic wand on, the, on you regular days. Right. Okay? To get you hypnotized with that bullshit. Yeah. Yep. Verse 9. Somebody getting, uh, somebody having a heart attack or something, something going on to where they need them motherfuckers. Yeah, and in, in, in that day, there ain't gonna be none of that. Yeah. So everybody gonna be trying to survive and, and, and stay alive, man. Yeah. But fuck ain't gonna be going to uh, emergency to help nobody else when he know it's danger everywhere. Right. He going home to his family. Yeah, gotta watch this. Yeah, good. Boy, okay. yeah. uh, this is uh this is going back to uh the souls that are just complaining continually. Yeah. This is uh Revelation chapter six, verse nine. It says, And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of the heavenly father, mm -hmm. and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? That's right. Yeah. Right, man. Hey, we've been saying that. We've been saying how long, how long, how long. You know what I'm saying? You got uh, Abel saying that, man. You know what I'm saying? In the beginning. In the beginning. Yeah. Saying that. Yeah. You know? So it's been, it's been going. It's been the blood. Uh, it said the blood cried unto the heavenly Father, man. That's right. That's right. Because life is in the blood. Yeah, life yeah. is in the blood. Yeah. Then you got the brothers that that. Um, that passed and uh, went up there, and they talking to the Heavenly Father when. Yeah. Yeah. And it was a, a beautiful, that brother, Martha Zock shared it, uh, yes. the head brother over there in uh, GMS, Washington. Seattle, Seattle, Seattle. Seattle Washington. That brother did a video with uh, the brother, Todd Zayar, that passed away. And in the oh, video, yeah, that, yeah. yeah, brother said, I'm back. Yeah, yeah he said, you I'm know? back. Yeah, right. It was proves ain't no hell, Nate. Yeah. Like the brother was going into. You know what I'm saying? Your brothers that have passed on, you know what I'm saying? And, and even, even uh, members of the different congregations, like the brothers were saying, you know what I'm saying? They could have family members, you know what I'm saying, that passed on and they in hell? They burning right now? Come on, right. man. 
No, they have rest. Yeah, Because you got to go back to that story of uh, uh, Saul and uh, Samuel, man. Yeah, you got it. That's, right that's a key story. Bro. When Samuel said, you will be you and your sons and you you will be here with me uh, tomorrow, man. That's right, bro. So that ain't, Samuel was a righteous man. Yeah. So he, he wasn't burning. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, I was on the cross with the two benefactors. Yeah. Yep. yeah, and they both were criminals. Yeah. Yep. They were wicked. But what did Yahweh tell one of them? He said, "This day you shall be with me in paradise." paradise. Okay. It say like even the wicked uh, is, that, is right? at rest. Right. Yeah. Is that Job? Yeah, yeah Job, the third chapter. Yeah, yeah I was yeah. thinking that. When you pass on, you you know the truth now. Right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's and you know the Most High is a merciful God. That's a portion of His mercy. Is that you know. You didn't even have no um, say so on what went down in your life. Or even if you had a choice to be here. Mm -hmm. So when you actually done doing what the Lord needs you to do on this earth, you go back up there to him. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's uh continuing. Uh second Andrews 15 and 9. And therefore, and therefore, saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Behold, my people as glad as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and would destroy all the land thereof. That's right. Egypt shall mourn and the foundations of it shall be smitten with the plague and the punishment that the heavenly father, Yahweh, shall bring upon it. And you see this all building up in real time. If your eyes are open, you see it all building up in real time. So much so, remember the dude, uh, I forget his name, it was Azarallo or something like that. When the Trump trial first started, this motherfucker set himself on fire outside the building. Yeah, yeah. right. And warning you that there was a great economic collapse coming. Yeah, that was the second burn. Yeah. Right, the That's other it. one was dealing with Palestine. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this one, the dude was a financial advisor, and he see the, the, the big crash that's coming. That's going to make the Great Depression look like a walk in the park. He see it coming. He said, and he, he had a sign that said, he was handing out pamphlets to the people that was outside, you know, the media and everybody was there because it's Trump. Yeah. You know, they got it. They selling it to you. And he lit himself on motherfucking fire, man. He said Trump is a part of he's with them. Yeah. You're being fooled. Yeah. So we see in the buildup of what this scripture just said. Man, read that part again. Yeah. It says, verse 12, Egypt shall mourn in the foundations Stop of Stop right there. Egypt shall mourn. Are not people mourning their eyes out right now? Yeah. It's people mourning about everything. From the food we eat. Uh, uh, from the uh, the uh, the uh, the hyper the inflation that's happening, not being able to afford to live, gender war, okay, genders, no jobs, the uh, man versus woman, mm -hmm. ain't no more jobs, having to work two and three jobs, yeah, still ain't making it, you know, and still barely getting by, yeah, okay, Egypt is in that morning, like the scriptures say, man, everything is building up, go ahead. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and the punishment that the heavenly, that the heavenly Father Yahweh shall bring upon it. Uh -huh. And that's what's happening. Uh -huh. This place, this ain't the kingdom. Okay. Right. It's, it's not. Sorry, good old America is over with. That's right. Yeah. That's it's, it's, it's been done since 2020. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Before that. And even before, but it was more so. Yeah. People didn't. People wasn't fucked up the way they fucked yeah, up. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Some of us was fucked up out there, man. Uh, you know? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So much so, uh, 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 the, 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 the women, you got women that you want, they don't need, you can't even talk to them or take them out that you paying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got certain of them, they need 40 bucks or 40 to 30 bucks just to, uh, Get their number, and they, and they don't want bros. They don't even, They don't want to go to no Applebee's. They don't want to go to no damn uh, cheesecake factory. cheesecake factory. Dude, that's expensive. And them places, them places is not cheap. Yeah. But you know why these women are like that? 
because you got a bunch of punk ass men out there. Yeah, they're going Because a woman wouldn't dare ask men for no money right out the gate if she wasn't getting it from suckers. Okay? There's yeah. suckers out there. Right. Go ahead, bro. Yeah. Verse 13. They that till the ground shall mourn. It says, uh, they that oh, they that till the ground shall mourn is dealing with what? Family. Don't you know they getting ready to close a, a, a whole bunch of restaurants? Yeah, yeah, bro. Red Lobster's yeah. gone. They gonna close all of them. All you that like that damn, uh, that abomination, man. Yeah. The, the, uh, the video just popped up on my feed. Uh, that video where a dude was like, man, yeah, the government told me, they told me that I have to uh, get rid of all my oil. He said, and my crops. He said they want me to just dump the oil. He had a big ass barrel of oil. And he said what they told me to do. And he was just, he was just dumping it on the ground. He said they told me to get rid of my oil and they told me to get rid of all my animals on my uh on my farm. He said, shit, I ain't got no choice. But he they 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 offered they gave him uh, I forgot how much money for each each uh animal that he was uh slaughtering. And they said, yeah, the, we'll, we'll let you know when you when it's done. Yeah. Because they was watching them from space, from uh... Yeah, I remember that video. Yeah. Crazy, yeah. Man. But uh... Oh, you yeah. know it's closed? Um, KFC on Avenue Y and 10th now. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. 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 See, look at that. Hey, yeah. All these businesses is falling, man. Applebee's just... Uh, they they getting rid of I think like a hundred, yeah, so a hundred like uh, Applebee's, yeah. man. By the end of the year, uh, and you another way to show you that that the, uh, it's it's bad out there. Them new Jordans that just dropped, you can still go in the store and yeah, buy yeah, them. Shit. Nobody yeah. buying them it's shits. Motherfuckers, motherfuckers is hurt. Yeah, usually. Okay, usually Jordans sell out that day, and these are the dirty the Elevens. The, the hottest Jordan that ever came out. Yeah. Right, right. But niggas ain't buying J's because niggas' pockets hurt now. Yeah. 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 That's why they doing those uh running the store and, and smashing grass. Smash you know? Uh uh I was at uh I was at what's the name little shit last night. Uh uh man, what's his name? Earthquake. I was at Earthquake Little Show last night. He had out there the improv. Oh, okay, the improv. Yeah, and uh, he was talking about the smashing grabs and shit. He was like, man, in LA, man, he was like, uh, he was like the smashing gra grabs. Is on, basically, he was on, on steroids. You know what I'm saying? And uh, how 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 out here, man, that's happening everywhere. But really, that's everywhere, man. Yeah. You know, that's everywhere because people is hurting in the pockets, man. And on top of that, that's part of the plan of the wicked elite. Yeah. Because they going they want to bleed these cities so that they can now, which they already have been doing since 2020, 2021, even before that, they setting up the infrastructure for these cities to be strictly smart cities. Yeah. All right? And Los Angeles is one of them. Mm -hmm. The infrastructure and the uh uh, uh, matter of fact, I got the article right yeah. here. Yeah, I got the article right here. But the thing about it is, out of the infrastructure and the uh, let me let me get it. So let me speak and see if I can. Pull it I got it. It says uh, the technology infrastructure and the green infrastructure. Basically, every city is passing that. But when it comes to tech job market, damn near all of them are failing. Uh, uh, on the scale of one to a hundred, all right, because it ain't gonna be no jobs, cause it's gonna be ran by technology. Well, that's uh, let me get that's good. Uh, uh, smart uh, hits smart cities. This is why they need you, or this is why they're gonna force you to take that MOTB. All right, this is why they're gonna have a facial recognition like they got over there in China. Everything will be ran by technology self-checkouts no more somebody bringing you up it'll just be somebody there watching that's it you know what i'm saying just monitoring it monitoring the uh computers making sure things go right yeah ain't it. gonna be no uh, uh 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 workers in the stores 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bagging your groceries and all that, man. Okay, yeah. them new Amazon Fresh stores. Okay, I done did deliveries to them stores. And them stores have over 1,100 cameras in it. And everything is smart. So as soon as you pick it up and put it in your basket, it, all, it automatically gives you how much it costs and it adds it to everything else you got in your basket so you can see how much you got to pay. Yeah, you ain't still Before that, they ain't even ringing, they ain't got no, the register is your court. Yeah, right. right. Okay? Yeah. So this is how they want these smart cities, man. Yeah. And they, they build, and they, uh, uh, another uh, portion of it is the, uh, what they call them Tesla charging stations, smart cars yeah. charging stations. They every goddamn where, man. Yeah, everywhere, bro. Okay? Mm -hmm. Everywhere. Mm -hmm. So if you see those smart, those Tesla uh, stations, just know that's a part of the infrastructure of these smart cities. So if you, it's in your city, guess what? Your city is set up to be a smart city. Yeah. When we went to Arizona yeah. last year or the beginning of this year, was it the beginning of this year? Or the yeah, the beginning of this year. Arizona's a smart city. <clears throat> oh, LA is becoming it too. I'm telling you, down there in LA, I be seeing so many fucking smart cars now. I'm like, God, I look at that motherfucker, nobody in that bitch. Yeah. Yeah. If it is some, there. yeah, if it is somebody, they just sit in the back seat. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I seen one of them going the wrong way. They was going against traffic. Mm. So they still fall to you at the same time. And then I keep thinking about them Tesla robots that um, you know they got those things by the hundreds because they got they got those little uh, robot dogs by the hundreds. Yeah, they're gonna roll those things out for security. Bro, you know? they got they got drones now. They got drones now that will follow you everywhere you go. You just press a button, that motherfucker hover up, and it just follow you. They, they been at that. Yeah, yeah, they been had that. That motherfucker just follow. I can see Esau telling everybody. To register your fucking uh your drone so he could just you know what i'm saying so he could just uh uh follow you all goddamn day man well yeah going back to 2020 they was putting drones up in the air telling people to go go in the house and they were using the drones yeah, yeah. so it's now they they finna go they finna go live with it man yeah. it's gonna get real out here man if the lord ain't with you you're gonna be destroyed by this man's technology man right it's really, um, Isaiah 10 and 5, uh, matter of fact, I'll get it real quick. Because yeah. it talks about the staff in his hand. Yeah. That staff in his hand is this man's technology. Yeah. You know? My brother posted a video last night about people, they getting fried in them Teslas, man. You know? Yeah, yeah they they're getting, getting silly, sick. messing up their they health. They're getting sick. They're health, they're yeah. sickly. Because yeah. they go to these, these uh, charging stations. <laughs> and some of them sit two hours in that bitch. Yeah. Two hours. And they said it's enough energy in one to charge up like 30 some homes, man. In one in one in one of those bitches, man. Yeah. And the dude did a little test. He had a little Geiger reader, uh what are those uh yeah, radiation reader type. Yeah, it reads energy. the rate how much radiation? Yeah. He said, man, it's so much radiation, it's beyond uh uh um you getting juice beyond the, the daily max that you're supposed to be. He said, you getting juice basically a whole year's worth by sitting there each time. And yeah, even just driving the car, just, driving, yeah. just being in and driving yeah. it without it being charged, mm -hmm. you're getting hit with all those frequencies, yeah. that radiation. It's crazy. This is um, Isaiah 10 and 5. It says, O oh, Assyrian, the rod of my anger and the staff in their hand is my indignation. Uh huh. And that's talking about Esau on this side. See, the Assyrian was the, the uh, see, the Lord uses the nations to punish Israel, okay? And at that time, when, when uh, Jake went into captivity under the Assyrians, the Lord did that, okay? So, uh, uh, fast forward to now, that's another name for Babylon the Great. And that's pursuant to 2nd Ezra, what's that, 16? Or is it 14? Go to the Babylon. Yeah, Syria. 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 Yeah. Okay? Yeah, because, 16. Yeah. Because yeah. the captivity, it's, it's the same type of captivity is taking place all over again. Yeah. yeah. And when them when them countries come into power, the Lord always uh, max out their, uh, their, their infantry, their artillery. You know what I'm saying? They be having weapons of, they be having weapons out the damn ass to come get Israel and, and to, uh, to put Israel in captivity. Well, Esau, 
modern day times, this is the technology the spirit got us talking about. This yeah. technology, if the Lord didn't come out back, um, it, are, it says no flesh will be saved. Yeah. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? No flesh will be saved. This nigga's technology will prevail against these dumb peons out here if the Lord didn't come back and stop it. I got you real fast. Mm -hmm. This is uh, 2 Andrews 9 and 20. So I considered the world and behold, there was peril because of the devices that were come into it. And peril means a bad time. It's gonna be a hella bad time when, when nigga you face gotta face a robot. You know? You gotta face a robot. And they just had that new movie, or is it a, yeah, it's a movie that came out called Atlas, starring Jennifer Lopez. And they were fighting, they had to fight robots in that in that uh, little show. Yeah. You know, they fighting against robots. Drones and shit. Drones yeah. was, was shooting them down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The robot just throwing the people yeah. like, ah! The beginning of that movie. Uh, the robots went on motherfucking mass murder sprees, man. Yeah, yeah. the AIs. Yeah, you know, the AIs, man. Yeah. 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 But we know that this man, he has um, the deep pop agenda that he wants to, to uh, accomplish as well. Yeah. So, yeah. So a lot of niggas think that I'll just conform. Nigga, it may not be written for you to conform. And you may be on the list where you got to die. Well, you going against the, the, the most high anyway if you're trying to conform. Because yeah, the right. scriptures tell you. Give me that Romans. Yeah. Uh, be not conform. Romans 12. Yeah, 12. 12, 12, 12 and 2. Yeah. 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 You ain't supposed to conform to this world. You, you trying to be a cyborg, you dummy? Thank <laughs> you. <Yeah>. Cyborg. <laughs> it's Romans 12 and 2. You can start at 1. Okay. Romans 12 and 1. It says, I beseech you, therefore, okay. brethren, by the, mer the mercies of the Heavenly Father. Where the fuck that cuss come from? Yeah, that was crazy, bro. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Heavenly Father, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. And you're going to have to sacrifice your body in that time. When they say it's mandatory, you're supposed to be ready to sacrifice your body as if, as if it was on the death. All right? All right? Go ahead. It says, present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Heavenly Father. And what's not acceptable? If you get that MOTB, the most high is not accepting you. It's not acceptable. It's not acceptable. Right. Yeah, it's not acceptable. So you're supposed to keep yourself holy and acceptable unto the Lord. Okay? Go ahead. It says, which is your reasonable service. Uh-huh. And be not conformed to this world. Be not conformed to this world. They trying to make everybody a robot. And hook you up to their uh, their grid. All right. All right. It's no longer the Internet of Things, but the Internet of Bodies. Everybody will be connected to the Internet physically. Your your person. Esau will be able to uh, track you, man. Yo, uh, what about Monday? Remember that movie? Oh yeah. That was too They couldn't. They couldn't. You couldn't move around without that motherfucking thing on their neck. Was it on they, it was on their neck, wasn't it? I think it was uh, on their wrist. Or they wrist, yeah, a wristband. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay? You couldn't have more I'm than, thinking of uh, another movie I saw yeah, you couldn't as have a kid. More than one. It's like, another one that just came cinema. out. Yeah. It's with Jake. It's called Bion Bionic. And yeah, I uh, seen that one. Yeah. <clears throat> I seen it on the ain't yeah. checked it Yeah. But they put a chip. They put a they put one in her head, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, you and, got uh, she got a she got a uh, bionic leg and shit. And she just She's, you know, she using that motherfucker to rob shit and all that type of shit. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, this nigga got this nigga but, Esau, man. And they do that, you know, for entertainment and movies. But they not finna give people these type of, uh, but they, you're not gonna be able to use that. If it's a bionic leg or whatever, you ain't gonna be able to use it to, to buck up against the system. Oh, they got, they got. Uh, they got full control of your ass at yeah, that point. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. They, they say, oh, what, what, ain't even on that movie? Upgrade. 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 I just seen that movie. Actually, yeah. first time seeing that movie was two weeks ago, and I watched it straight through. I was like, man, this shit is dope as fuck. Yeah, bro. What yeah, the hell was I tripping shit. on? Yeah, bro. I was like, this is a 10 out of 10. I'm a tripping. Yeah. But uh, dude was like, man, what you think I was going to give you uh, this technology and not be not uh, basically have my program still in it? Right. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You see how he killed, how they killed his family? Yep. How, yep. You know how they could do that, like even with the Tesla, right? 
Yeah. They ran this motherfucker inside of a. Uh, remember that? Remember? Uh, like I, I don't know. I think it was a year ago or two years that that Tesla that was just dipping. It was smashing with the people in it. That was a movie. Now this is real life. Oh, it's they was trapped in that motherfucker, and it was just. Yeah. It was just going. It was on roll. It was just. You know, they couldn't stop it or nothing. That motherfucker ended up crashing. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, but they could that. just do that. Oh, yeah. Put you in a Tesla. Yeah. Uh, and take control and of take it. control of that motherfucker and run your ass right off the cliff, man. Via yeah. Internet of Things. It's, it's, it's similar to the technology of a, um, what's them little shits called? Uh, remote, remote control, control cars. Oh, yeah. It's the same similar to the, that, that type of technology. They'd be able to control it from the, wherever their antenna is at. Now, 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 now think of this. Remember when remote control cars first came out? Oh yeah. They, so they had that technology right. even before then. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. And, uh -huh. Now, now they can really do it because the cars drive themselves, man. The yeah. Teslas drive themselves. So if they driving themselves, it's easy for them to tap in, bank a left, hit another right, they go your ass. Uh, you out, you out of there. They showed you that and leave the world behind. That's a yeah, they showed it. And then it's a, not just uh, that brand Tesla, but all these different smart cars. Car yeah. companies are picking up smart cars. Oh, yeah. All right there. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Back, in, back in Rome, it's 12 and 2. That's a smart car right there, huh? That Domino's? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. probably so. But it's somebody driving There's somebody in there. there. <laughs> and, you know, they can hack. When it comes to that, um, it's not a combustion, uh, a combustion engine. I mean, it don't need gas, and it's, it, you know, it has a starter to start it up in that fashion. You know, where the fire kick, but it's uh, electricity and uh, and computer. They can hack those things. Right. Yeah. Um, it says, "And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind." That's it. So you ain't supposed to conform to what Esau is doing because. If you do conform, that, that's unacceptable with the Heavenly Father. There, and, and then, therefore, you're going to have to drink the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture, yeah, which yeah. is the nuclear missiles. Right, right. Because right. here oh, it that's is. Yep. That's spirit. We, uh, through the Spirit of the Lord, the Lord didn't reveal to us what this technology really is doing to the body. And one of the things it's doing is it adding the um, extra strand of DNA. Yeah, that's what the. Uh, one of these days, the most I'm gonna let somebody crash in front of us. Yeah, us. yeah, I yeah. Because yeah. these people are retarded. They are. Right, right. But yeah, he, he got that shit where he can add uh, uh, another strand of DNA in your, in, your, in, your, in your whole system. So then now, that signature that the Heavenly Father got in, in your body uh, is it's altered. Yeah. And then, yep. But then the, the other thing is that dealing with that Neuralink, Elon Musk little Neuralink, they got those little small uh, little hairs that connect to your nervous system and then they able to tap into your nervous system. Yeah, them ain't hairs though, those are wires. Those yeah. wires. Uh, 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 electrical uh, 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 conducting wires. <laughs> That's what it is, man. Yeah. It's just real thin. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna stop you saying that that one dude that's moving the mouser with his uh, head and everything, uh, his head and stuff. Yeah. Take that hat off. You ever notice he always got a hat on? You take that goddamn hat off, this dude gonna have a hole in his head the size of a quarter. That's right. Yeah. Something sticking out of his head. That's right, man. Yeah, black mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> This is uh, Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. It says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture. That's you conforming. So if you conform, you're going to taste the missiles. Because the Lord said, Don't take it. Yeah. All right? Well, it's a lot of niggas waiting to conform. Yeah. If they think it's some, some new dope technology. Yeah. Because you niggas is lazy, docile, you don't do your research, you ain't spiritual. You know what I'm saying? And you wicked as hell, you just threw, man. Like Slim Thug. Yeah. He, he wanna, he waiting. 
they just have they have, uh, also they have no hope in in, in the Lord coming back. No, yeah. nothing that yeah. nothing. only Esau is he he's gonna ever rule. He's gonna rule forever. The white man gonna be on top yeah. forever. And what the hell could I do about it? Right. Yeah, because as it is written, Hosea four and six, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. All right. Yeah. That's why you destroy it because you lack knowledge, man. And the lot the knowledge is out there for you to get. Right. But you refuse. You you want to be willingly ignorant on your own. Yeah. So you're gonna have to eat everything that's coming, man. Okay? With no hope. Yeah. Go ahead. It says, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the most high, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire. In brimstone, nuclear destruction. That's what that's talking about. It ain't talking about nothing else but nuclear destruction. That's right. The nuclear war that's coming. Go ahead. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Yeah. You're going you're gonna to be on, the, on, on Babylon soil while the missiles is touching down in the, in the chariots above looking down at you with the elect in them chariots, okay? That's right. I looked up the word wine right there. Going back, it goes to the strong G3631, and number two says, metaphorically, fiery wine of God's wrath. That's right. Okay, so this ain't talking about no no drink, okay? Right. No, it's talking about the mystery. Okay? Metaphorically, <laughs> you know what we had before that? They got a little more, bro. Oh, you got more? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it says, fiery wine, which the Heavenly Father in his wrath is represented as mixing and giving to those whom he is about to punish by their own folly and madness. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's right. Oh, I get it now. Like It's like, he call it wine because it's like, it's, it's mixing it up like you do uh, like you do drink. He gonna keep it. He gonna head it right yeah, to but, you. But he ain't gonna mix it. Yeah. He said that it's gonna just be poured out without mixture. Yeah, without mixture. Okay. <laughs> you gonna have to take it straight. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's this that yeah, yeah, bitter yeah. dry <laughs> wine. Yeah. It's the bread. That man. Cabernet. Oh. That that uh that Cabernet. Okay. Oh no no is it? Which uh, means yeah. no. When he says without Which mixing, it's basically no mercy. Which one is that trash? Merlot. 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 Merlot, that boy, that boy is strong too. The cheap ass Merlot is that. That two dollar Walmart Merlot. Hopefully, we should get that shit. Hell yeah. I can't believe we should drink that. That's it. Trash. 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 For the sword in their destruction draweth nigh. Uh -huh. And one people shall stand up to fight against another. How's this gonna happen? We see it falling up. Yeah. Okay, you see the Patriots saying we're gonna have to fight. When 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 the article came out about Biden releasing the uh the blue hats here in the in the, in the state because of civil war, where the civil war come from coming from? Because they knew this case was going to uh, get people stirred up. Right. Because it really ain't, ain't nobody, it really ain't no civil unrest yeah. to where you got to have the troops out here. Right. The blue hats. Yeah. Okay, there wasn't no explanation. It just said in preparation for civil unrest in the U.S. Okay, why would there be civil unrest? There wasn't no explanation to that in, the, in any article. Okay. Because they're going to create it. We see it now. Yeah. The people are stirred up because of they they they're saving Trump, Nero. Yeah. Right. Okay. And then remember uh what recently just happened this week, uh following from next week as well, um these private companies uh that have been bringing in um these these migrants by the by the by the like yeah. basically by the thousands. Those, those, yeah. They, they, they hide the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the troops with them. Yep, that's yep. Those that's are a lot, a lot of those people that's coming in, those and are the troops. It. 
When it's first throw happened? Yeah. yeah. That's what you call a Trojan horse. Yeah, that's exactly what you call a Trojan horse. That's, that's how the, uh, the city of Troy got invaded. It was invaded because they were, they were, they were let in. Yep, they were let in. Okay? And they were let in. And, and they, they call it, I think they call it NGOs. You ever heard of that term, Mark? No, no. Which basically is those private companies that's hiring these. They're basically uh, being uh, hired to bring these people in. They ain't got, yeah. they're private companies that's Bus companies? Yeah. When they get when they get across the border, they got all these buses lined up to take them anywhere. Wherever they going, like, you know, it'll be one bus. This bus going to Chicago. This bus going to California. Yeah. This bus going to New York. This bus going to Georgia. This bus going to uh, Weber, you know? Yeah. And these people are coming in military age, and they have no families or nothing with them. Yeah. They by themselves. Yeah. Okay, keep, taking, keep taking this a game. Because when it's not a game, it's going to be too late for you to even not think it's not a game. Yeah. Okay? Keep thinking the most high is, is, is bluffing, man. The most high ain't no buffer. Right. <laughs> He's showing you before it happens. That's right. Yeah. All right. You just gotta have a couple screws in your goddamn head to see it. Mm -hmm. We'll show you. Uh, most people are goddamn stupid, man. <laughs> most people are fucking retarded. Yeah. Uh, see, the ones that's blinded, they you gonna stay blinded. Until the missiles in the sky. That's it. That's it. If you don't see it, you're not gonna see it. Right. You're not gonna see it. Right. You're not gonna ever see it. Lord don't want you to see it. Isaiah 69, read about it. Yep, yep, yep. He's gonna, he gonna take them blinders off right before you destroy your yeah. ass. Yeah. And that's when you're gonna know. <laughs> I tripped. You're gonna know what we know. <laughs> it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt too. When you, it, it hurt worse when you know you tripped. Yeah, yeah, you gotta go through it. Like, that's, gonna, oh. that's when you're gonna have a slow motion oh. tears go down your face. <laughs> because the Lord gonna slow the time down. And then you shall know that a prophet has been among you. <laughs> Oh, my cousin, my cousin, the baby wasn't crazy. Yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. The whole time, they was telling the truth. Oh, shit. He was right there the whole time. Could have called my phone. Yeah. Hit me up on uh, one of them, uh, 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 you know, because I, I do have the uh, traits book, but strictly for family. Yeah. In the world, just to, you know, yeah, the that's the way, you know, contact and shit. Yeah. Right. But go ahead. You know what, I didn't, I didn't finish uh, 13 because we had stopped off. Uh, yeah, yeah, go That's cool. So, uh, second answer is 15 and uh, 13. They that till the ground shall mourn, for their seed shall fail through the blasting and hell. <clears throat> and with the fearful constellation, go to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and the destruction draw nigh. And one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. Gun fights everywhere. Where? For there shall be sedition among men. Sedition among men. All right. Sedition. Resistance. There will be uh, uh, all type of war out here, man. Just like in the movie Civil War, everybody's gonna be trying to protect themselves, man. Okay. You gonna have people that have band together, you know, to protect, you know, their coat to sack or whatever. Yeah. You gonna have people. Like in uh, Civil War, that was that the dudes that owned the grocery store. I mean, not the grocery store, the gas, gas station. station. Oh, oh, Motherfuckers standing out there with their ARs, man. Yeah, like in the 90, what, 92 riots? Yeah. And that was, that was that's gonna be, that's gonna be, <clears throat> the 92 riots was uh, 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 walking your baby in the park compared to what's coming. Yeah. You had the Moabites and Ammonites, they was on top of their shit in the liquor stores. Yeah. yeah. With they uh with they uh M16s and AK47s, man. Yeah. <clears throat> so just imagine when it does happen and there won't be no quelling. Mm -hmm. You won't be able to call in the National Guard to quell it. And once the blue hats get here, that's really gonna piss them off. Which, which they're already here. But once they show themselves, that's really gonna piss off the uh, patriots. Oh yeah, they're gonna go to war with them okay. Go ahead. It says, uh, verse 16, For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard the kings, no princes, no mayors, no governors. We'll, we'll have a, uh, you know, they, they, they wouldn't, they're not going to be protected by the so-called law. People ain't going to give a fuck no more. 
<clears throat> because they get ready to take everything from everybody by way of a, 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 a whole collapse grid uh, power shutdown, power power grid down. Yeah. And then they're going to merge and your money going to be gone. No. You know, the bank account blew. Yeah. And the only way you can participate in this society now is the MOTV. That's it. Yeah, all your uh, achievements, uh, your degrees and all those things you work for. It don't mean nothing. Motherfucking, yeah. <laughs> motherfucking at ninth year and shit. <laughs> think he's about to get his I have my doctors. He, he, he think he's about to be a lawyer at Harvard and shit. Yeah, right, right. Uh, from came from Harvard. Nope. Yeah. No, nah, they don't need you no more. Yeah. Because shit is going down, punk. And here it is. You know, uh, it was uh, they was using those robots or talking about it, abusing them to uh, for judges and lawyers and prosecutors and all that already. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you watch the movie Demolition Man, the one that came yeah, out in yeah. the 90s, with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Wesley Snipes. See, Gen Z don't know about that. They don't know about movies like that, well, man. Gen Z threw. Yeah, they yeah, threw. These motherfuckers are done, man. Yeah, yeah, you stick yeah, a fork yeah. in these goddamn young goobers. <laughs> hey, that's funny. Okay? When you watch that movie, they show you technology was the law. When they sentenced, uh, when they sentenced uh, Sylvester Stallone, it was a fucking geek with a pad in his hand, yeah. telling him you will be frozen, you know, <laughs> and he pushes some goddamn buttons yeah. and put him in a goddamn capsule, man. Yeah. Yeah. Technology was ruling. Yeah. When he got out, he said a cuss word. Technology gave him a goddamn ticket. A merit, a demerit. You know? Yeah, we're, we, we got demerits in um. In elementary school, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Meaning that you did <clears throat> demerit, meaning that you went against the merit, which is like the the, the standard for character. Yeah. And and, and 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 remember in the movie how they how did when they came to work the cops they came to work how did they clock in with their hands? Yeah. All right. They had to show their hand, and the dude took the thing and, and, and beat it. See, Taco Bell was the only restaurant they had. Yeah, out of all the restaurants that's closing in America, you don't hear none of those. Yeah, tight right 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 closing down. Right. Two of them over here, back to back. Yeah, yeah. bro, what the fuck? That ain't food, food, man. Yeah, yeah, they, they said, uh, I was watching the 10 worst restaurants, fast food restaurants to eat at, and it was uh, top 10 was Taco Bell was on there because they didn't want to uh, give a food grade. Um, they didn't want to give a food grade for their food. Yeah, they basically missed it. So they got an F. You know why? That's chemical. Because it's not food. Yeah, because it's not food. It's That's not chemical. Food. I used to and work you, at that motherfucker up there. And you can't even call it a restaurant. Yeah, it's not <laughs> because, food. Cause, because it's not uh, restoring your body. Mm -hmm. It yeah. doesn't give you restoration because that's what food's supposed to do. Yeah. All right? It's, it's a supposed lot of, to restore right? you. Yep. It's a lot of um, black, black <clears throat> mold uh, grind, I mean, uh, dried to a powder and put in there, and a lot of soft metals grind to a powder and put it in there. And, and who, put it well, in there. who knows if that's even beef? Yeah. It's not. It's not. It's not. Beef, that shit come in a bag, it's not. man. It's not. It's they probably said, grains. They said uh, a lot of horse it is horse, it's yeah, horse, horse meat. Horse meat. So, remember, they were throwing a, the, the, remember they were throwing a horse in the grinder hole? Man. He was alive, like, God damn, at least kill him first. Yeah. It they just said, first go now they saying they they finding uh human meat in uh in all these yep. and all, all these chains all these chains right. they're finding human human meat man yeah man and this is why the heavenly father has opened up the the, 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 the broad spectrum of knowledge man how to eat right what to eat yeah you got god uh men and women holistic doctors giving you game on the herbs yeah. all right you could, they dedicated their life to it. Yeah. Well, we need to know it's a little bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right, bro. Yeah, yeah. with prayer. Same thing with, uh, uh, see, the most high, the most high is an effort to where there's no excuse on all levels, man. On all levels. Okay? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, uh, you got people that's uh, uh, morbidly obese out yeah. here. <clears throat> when you can get a gym membership for $10 a month, but you would rather uh, buy motherfucking Newports on a daily basis, okay? So you spend more, you spend more money on Newports a month than the, than the gym membership. I don't even think they sell those no more. Uh, but not here in California, yeah. menthols. Yeah, yeah. Okay? You got um, Edomite Sewer, man, I, I can't think of his name, but he like a 
you know, he's like a very lively Edomite, but he go and break down every single word that be on the back of the uh, in the stores, right? In the I see he yep. breaks every single word down for you, all them glutinated. He say he tell you all oh, exactly what this what this is, yep. and he say to run from it. Yep. Yep. And here to come to find out, everything these seed oils poisonous. That's where all these fast food restaurants you sent the video. Uh, they fry their chicken and soybean oil. Soybean, man. <laughs> I was like, what the? I hell? was like, no more of that for me. Yeah, the it's only one that don't really is um, uh, what's that wing place up there? Found there? Oh, uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah, yeah. They but use actually uh beef something. Beef tallow. Tallow, yeah. Beef tallow. You know uh citric acid, you know what that is? It, in its own damn near everything. It's black mold, man. Yeah. It's black fucking mold. So I don't I don't buy no shit with no citric acid. You know, my children, they don't eat no shit with no color dyes, no citric acid, none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, I start them off when they breakfast. They breakfast is a, a fruit because they coming out of a fast. That's what a breakfast is, breaking your fast, you know? So they get fruit, man, you know? But that citric acid, if it say citric acid, if you look it up, it's black mold. Crazy, bro. What and that shit mold? will kill you, man. The black mold. The, the Lord, can. the scriptures talks about mold, man. Yep. Right. Uh, if you got mold That's in your house, plague. you supposed to break that. You supposed to break everything down and rebuild. That's a plague. It's yeah. A plague. And, and, and we so much under the curses that if you in a spot and it mold and you renting it, you can't break that shit down. Can't nah, you, you, can't. you can't. You gotta go to the store and get the mold uh, removed. Yeah. The spray it. or something, yeah. man. You gotta constantly, you gotta they constantly got mold do that paint. shit. Yeah. You know, you put you spray your little uh your white vinegar on it. You know, that's a couple of things you could do for it, and that's you know basically it. Prayers, prayers, good prayer. You know. Well, yeah, let's go back. Yeah. It says, say Andrew 15 and 16. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. Uh -huh. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the in the course of their actions, they'll stand in their power. And in the course of their actions is because they want their America back. They want their freedom back. Yeah. They want prices to, to be reasonable again. All right? But it ain't. They want they want their children to stop being read uh, sexual books by trannies. Yeah, okay? America's done. It's over, it's man. Done. Oh, oh man, bro. Okay? God damn. Mm -hmm. Any day, we could wake up any day now when something major can happen that will change the course yep. of this uh, 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 this fake ass life that we, we, we got to deal with. Lord willing, let's go. We cheer and root for it. Let's go. Okay? You the only ones that want that, man. Let's go. Fuck you people, man. You know? Fuck all you motherfuckers out there, man. Right. It's about the leg. It's about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It's about getting the fuck out of here, man. Right, right yeah. You know, it's, it's, not coming. Coming. Either, man. it's coming. Because nothing makes sense right now. It nothing. nothing makes sense. The average, the average person knows that and can see that. That nothing makes sense. They can see that, man. That's why Apostle Paul did that video uh, uh, yesterday, man. You know? Yeah. <clears throat> you got average Joes seeing that it's messed up out here, man. Yeah. No, you, it's just through. The spirit of Egypt shall mourn. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. It says, verse 17, a man, shall, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. And that's just like the, the brother said, uh, how you going to have uh, these gangs. That's a part of it. You know, these gangs, they're going to be controlling their city like, nah, nigga, you can't come around here. Hey, get that nigga. You know, this nah, nigga, this is our street. You know, certain streets they gonna have blocked off uh, troops and, and, and uh, you know and, and what sucks. Yeah. You know, like in uh that uh movie with uh in time. Yeah. That's a Timberlake. Zone, 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 different zones. Yeah, yeah they got timber zones. They, you know, you know, they ain't gonna block off, but all the major routes in and out of the city will be blocked or yeah. blown up. Yeah. That's why them bridges was going down uh, uh, not too long ago. Right. right? They were taking yeah. those, were, those, were, those are major routes in and out of cities. 
They forgot about that. Yeah, remember they had also those little um those little mini tanks. They're mini tanks. They're not big giant tanks, but they're mini tanks that right. they were bringing over here on of them uh, right, uh on them trains. So the M Yeah, yeah. Yeah. M which are made strictly for the city. Yeah, made for the city. Not made for actual uh desert terrain, but made for the fucking black top streets in the city. And that's why they've been taking certain lanes out of streets. Yeah, and making and it they're making it just where it's just one fucking lane, one but lane. you got one big ass fucking lane for the yeah, bikes. Yeah. Bikes don't need no huge ass lane like that. So it's you gotta use your head, man, and think it. Put two and two together. Why in the fuck is they doing that? And I don't know, I don't know if y'all been noticing. They've been setting up them blue lights everywhere now. Yeah. Them fucking them shits that they put in Walmart. Now they they not just in Walmart no more, man. Yeah, they every day they all every parking fucking lots. where, man. They in all parking lots. All parking lots, streets. I've been seeing them shits on streets. Yeah. And I'll be like, you know, yeah, they trying to get the people programmed to see in that shit. So when the troops is coming, you know what I'm saying? They know, okay, damn, that's that means, you know, uh uh, uh you know, either that's a checkpoint or something. Yeah. Well, remember them blue lights was for those for the for the people those that took purple. the juice. That's the purple lights. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a purple. I was gonna say, if you ever notice, those things are talking. You will hear it through the whole um, parking lot. It made me think that all they got. I, I'm pretty sure it's probably a microwave gun on there, which um, which would disperse crowds by you know that microwave gun technology. Oh, yeah, ready because because Walmart's oh, and stuff. People gonna be bum rushing sure. them damn Walmarts. And they gonna be in, when they in that parking lot, they're gonna get fucking microwave gunned. Well the Walmarts are gonna be turned into FEMA's camps anyway. Right. Yeah. So they when they put them fences up, they had you in there about the hundreds, thousands. You just in there behind the fence. You can't leave. That's how they gonna communicate with you. <laughs> Matter of fact, if brothers know, I can I don't wanna say the same the wrong thing. I, I, I told the brother purple light. Do y'all remember if it's purple or blue? It's all, it's all weapons. I think it's yeah. uh, purple. But, purple, so but it could be purple. I yeah, know for yeah. sure those things that sit in Walmart, it's like it's on wheels. It yeah, has right. a blue light on it. Yeah, that one has a blue light. Yeah, yeah. That one because has a blue. blue means uh, 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 emergency light. No, it means uh, like basically with the police. It's dealing with the police. You know, that's why you're not supposed to have blue and red lights on your car. You'll get a, uh, a ticket for that shit. Oh, yeah. Okay, I see. Yeah, because yeah, that's for... Uh, Just going to show you, man, and you know, the Heavenly Father is setting up the stage for judgment to come. It's that's all. Time. That's what it is. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. And everything is building up from the Trump to everything else that's happening. Yeah. Everything is getting ready to meet right in, right at the middle, and the Lord gonna squeeze the shit out of this place. Yeah. <laughs> like the wine press. Yeah. We're gonna yeah. get there. Go ahead. Says, uh, verse 13, a man shall desire to go into a city yeah. and shall not be able. Yep. And you've seen that too on uh, Bushwick. That's another movie that you you know, you know could watch. Bushwick. Um, Troops came. Yep. Yeah. With that dude Ortiz. Uh, oh, Ortiz. Hey, uh, what was that uh, movie? Uh, Denzel the Siege. Oh, yeah. The old school movie. The old came out in the 90s called The Siege, man. Yeah, where they locked down New York City. Yeah. And you had you had different terrorists. You had terrorists on city buses. And they blew, remember they they blew up the bus. That was like on Trader. Yeah. The movie Trader with uh, 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 Don Yeah. Same, same thing. They was blowing, they was, you know, I I'm probably in there to just blow that motherfucker up. Yeah. You're gonna have that, man. You're gonna have builders blowing up. You're gonna have shopping uh, centers being blown up. Yeah. It's over. It is, hey, this is good times for us, man. Hell yeah. yeah. You know? Um, verse 18. For be it says, For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Men are gonna be afraid. Right? right? A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. When it's when it's survival of the fittest, I ain't gonna give a damn if we've been cool. No kid like uh, who is that? He fired at him. He wouldn't let him in the bunker. Fall out. Oh, yeah, yeah, fall out. Fall out. Fall out. Let your, me in the bunker. And your neighbor no. could be your blood brother. A neighbor could be uh, uh, your actually neighbor. Shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. And he's saw been setting that up too, the um the love of mini wax and cold. That uh that mass of breathing in your own air, uh they was breaking down that that makes people lose empathy for one another. Mm -hmm. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. So and, uh, people are becoming like dehumanized, 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 dehumanized. It's a psy psychological yep. operation they putting on the people. Yep. Remember the movie American Blackout? Oh yeah. oh yeah. Remember dude wanted to can the peaches? Oh, yeah. yeah he's and they went, they went, they went to war. They went to hand war. to hand combat. They, they killed him with all. He killed his ass with that can of peaches. He said, I can't give you that, man. I can't, can't, can't it, do that, man. And then remember the lights came on or something, didn't it? After, After 10 yeah. days. After yeah, 10 right, right. days. But it showed you the, 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 the state the people went in in a matter of 10 days. Wow. Now imagine, imagine a couple weeks. Woo! Three weeks, four weeks. Of, of, of no law, no water, no power, all right? And, and people out here trying to fend for themselves. Mm -hmm. Imagine the chaos that that's gonna happen. That you can't go to the pharmacy, right here. What is this, uh, CVS? CVS. Yeah, yeah. CVS. I got here a little early, so I was in the parking lot. All I kept seeing people, I, you see people go in, and you thinking they going in the shop, they coming out with a goddamn uh, uh, the pharmacy bag, that man. Drugs, man. Yeah. They coming out with that medication. Yeah. And and, and it's a it's an urgency. They get out of their vehicle and they they hide telling it to that goddamn pharmacy, man. Yeah. Yeah. Just imagine when you can't get them drugs. You know what's gonna happen? The drugs are gonna start oh, to set in. Yeah. You ever see a Woo! crackhead on, on that ain't had his hit? He wouldn't do any and everything yeah. to get, they chase, they chase that hit. I've seen uh, uh, pill heads, people that are stuck on uh, yeah, yeah. medication. And when they don't have that medication, their withdrawals are worse. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, yeah. Met the people too with their uh, inhalers. Inhalers. Woo! You know, they got inhalers in there. You know? Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> People gonna be seeing their loved ones uh, go crazy and die right before their eyes because they, they don't have the uh, they they not they don't have they won't be able to get the dope from Esau insulin yeah insulin is another one yeah a lot of Jacob diabetes and you go get that insulin that's filled with pork because they get it from they get it from, from pigs. pigs yeah uh, and that that keeps your blood sugar down you can't get that you 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 ain't get your your pancreas ain't producing your uh, insulin. Yeah. All right, naturally, you gonna die. You will die, man. Yeah. Okay, it's gonna it's gonna be all level. Give me second action eight fifty, man. I quoted you earlier. Second action eight fifty. You say you feel right there, man. That's misery. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Misery is gonna be all over the place, man. Yeah. Remember the movie Misery? Oh Some yeah. Some of y'all brothers. Yeah, I remember young. that. But that movie Misery right there, that's that my favorite movie. Yes. <laughs> that bitch was crazy. <laughs> oh, poo. <laughs> that bitch took a sledgehammer to his feet. Woo. Yeah. And, 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 and broke his ankles, man. Because oh. he didn't write he didn't write the script like how she wanted. She he wanted to kill off the main character. And she was like, she got mad. Like, what? He trying to kill off the character. Nah, hell no, nah, that can't happen. So his ass woke up with two sticks on his leg. In between. In between. In between. And he was looking like this what he doing? That bitch had a big ass sledgehammer. And he was begging her. Okay. And she was both. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Because she wanted him to rewrite the, the whole shit over. Yeah. How she wanted the story. And she wanted to, to go on and shit. She was his number one fan and shit. <laughs> but it showed you how she was in these doctor I mean she was in these hospitals killing, killing off patients. 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 You know, because they had a little, and I paused it and I read all them shits. And she had a, uh, she was, you know, I was, you know, yeah. been into movies and shit. And uh, she, every hospital she went to, she killed off like at least two or three uh, patients, man. You know? And they got they got people that's doing that to this day. Because they're paid 13000 plus to put a motherfucker on a ventilator, man. So they're, they're doing the same shit. And it was a lady that uh, she broke it down how she was how uh, she had to get out of that because it was fucking her mind. Up. It was fucking her mind up because uh, and she was she started telling the story about 
Powell and Dr. Powell, they were paid this such such to, to uh, put a person on ventilator yeah. or uh, put a person on a uh, 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 certain drugs and shit. Mm -hmm. You know, all the way to the to death. Yeah. Yeah. That shit is real, man. Then once you get in that hospital, they they got you. They got if you. If you don't have if you don't have your mental faculties and you ain't up on this truth, you gonna believe them goddamn people in them hospitals, yeah. man. And they gonna get you to start taking pills. First thing they wanna do is give you some goddamn blood thinners. Yeah. And then the next thing they come to take your blood. Okay. And you, and you telling them, well, shit, I just wanna get out. They not letting you out. Well, they we need to run need, more need, tests. You gotta sign all type of papers and shit. Yeah. But you got freedom in this take place, right? Take it you got freedom in this place. You in a fucking hospital. You can't just get up out of that bitch if you, when you want to. Man, get get me off of this motherfucker, man. I'm good. Yeah. Well, you need to sign this paper and you need to do this. We need to wait a certain Alpha amount of David. time and we need to get you a wheelchair. And I don't need no goddamn wheelchair, man. I'm able to walk. You know. Yeah. My body is good and shit. <laughs> It's a, it's a certain spirit in there. You feel that shit. Yeah. It's like you, you feel, air, you feel the demons. Yeah, because it was, it was set up by the Rockefellers, the Rockefeller yep. Foundation. Yep. They took over the medical field a long time ago. Mm -hmm. They went from natural, and he went to a petroleum base. Right. Right. Synthetic yep. drugs. Yeah. Man, that petroleum base is crazy because they just scrape it off of the edges of the cellulose. The petroleum, the yeah, they just scrape it off the edges of where, where they're dealing with the oil. Oh, at. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's they, like they, they cake that they repurpose up. it, they yeah. re basically recycle it and turn it into something else, just like they use it for plastics, they use it for uh gasoline, yeah. they use it for uh, uh, uh gasoline. gasoline, you know, all this this bullshit, man. Yeah, PVC pipes. Yeah. Plastic. Yep. Even clothing, man. The clothing that you wear, man. Uh, uh, polyester, a nylon, all them shits, man. That's all plastic. So they say. Uh, I was watching the. Uh, what's her name? O'Neal, Barbara O'Neal. She said when you sweat, she said that's why a lot of women get breast cancer. They wear these plastic ass uh, uh, bras. See, she said it's less in men because men wear cotton cotton undershirts, cotton underwear. You know, some men got the, the fake shit, but I I, I like the, uh, I like 100% cotton, 100% cotton, cotton, 100 cotton, cotton uh, undershirts. Yeah. And when you sweat, they say the women when they sweat in these bras, the the chemicals seeps into they into their breasts, and that's how they get breast cancer, man. Right. So if you got women out there, hey man, buy her some real bras, man. 100% cotton. Yeah, 100% cotton. cotton. If you women is listening, hey, you already know the steps what to do, man. Not unless you want that shit. But uh, going back. Hold up. Uh, second oh, okay. Entrance 850. Yeah. The, this many, is, the many miseries, man. That's right. This is second address 8 and 50. It says, for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world. Yeah. Because they have walked in great pride. That's right, man. And, and people are still proud. Yeah, they proud. In 2024. Bro, Crazy, bro, I was at a coffee shop. I was at a fucking coffee shop. And uh, I was in line. I was in line. And, and these fucking, you know, they, they so prideful, man. Motherfucker, eat them. They walk, walk through your shit. It was a little ass, little little space. They walk through, bumping you. They don't even look back and say, excuse me. So I'm like, man, what the fuck? And it kept happening to me. So I stood right there. I say, you know what? The next motherfucker well, uh, bump me. I'ma say something, man. So this lady tried to fucking squeeze. I'm talking about it wasn't even no space to squeeze. This bitch was like, I look back. She was like, sorry, 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 sorry. She was trying to get. I was like, sorry. Don't you know what I say? Excuse me. And she was like, Ugh. and she went around and and squeezed through through my wife and shit. Man, my wife wanted to grab her fucking hair and beat that bitch ass, man. <laughs> but she knew not to. You know what I'm saying? Cause we peaceful, man. We come in there getting a fucking coffee and we out. You know what I'm saying? But when we was talking, she said, she said I wanted to beat that bitch ass. She said I wanted to beat that bitch ass. I put a curse on her bitch ass, man. You know what I'm saying? She said. She looked at me. She said. <clears throat> Like, like, you know, proud and shit, man. Hey, because that, eat them, see that they going down. 
and Jake out here doing better than them. Yeah, yeah that, you know, I was in there with the they linen. Hot. I'm fresh to death. You know what I'm saying? Wifey fresh to death with this with the dress, yeah. hair, you know, covered up. Just vibrating on high. You know, level. we looking good up in that motherfucker and they hating, man. They, don't they like hating. It. They don't like it, bro. They don't like it, bro. They don't like it because and, and, and it's spiritual because they're they on their way out. They know it. They know it. Because let that have been going back to the 30s and 40s. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you practice with a with a with a with a hunky. Yeah. You talking about yeah. what you say to me, boy? It's a different day. Yeah, I couldn't have been in that spirit then. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And they, them Edomites missed that. They missed yeah, that. Deep down, they missed when they, when they, when they was able to talk to Jake any kind of way and do anything to Jake. You can't do that now. Yeah. And it was another couple in there. There was a Latin couple, uh, it's car. And it was an old lady cursing them out just because they were just standing. They wouldn't even bother nobody. It was an old ass cracker just cursing them out, man. And, and my wife told me, she was like, yeah, she was like, yeah, they just got cursed out by this old ass lady and they wasn't even doing that. Sure. Oh, uh, no. It's coffee shop. I just oh, show, okay. show you that they, uh, they yeah. prejudiced, man. They, 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 they just they racist. They just, they angry. They, 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 they turn to uh, be punished for all, everything that they did. Yeah. I guess, uh, um, there's a, uh, I don't know if you ever brother seen it, it's a ritual that these Edomites do uh, in the middle of the woods. They get sticks and they just yell to the top of their lung and they just beat the sticks in the ground. And they be like, and uh, the Edomite instructor says, scream whatever you feel, whatever emotions, and they be still, I'm sad, I'm sad. And they just beat the sticks on the ground. I'm mad, I'm depressed. It's a bunch of words like that because they know that the, what the truth is concerning what they nation have they did. Know. Yeah. yeah. You know? And they know they don't have no 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 hope, no nothing to repent or anything. You know you through. No, you bro. through, Esau, Esau, yeah. you through, nigga. Right. I got I got a piece of real quick. <laughs> um, this is Isaiah the fourteenth chapter. Oh, you had that? No, I was in the same chapter. Oh, okay. Um and we're gonna start at uh verse three. It says, and it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. Because that's when, when America's taken out, that's when we're going to get our rest. Right. Okay. It says, thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon. Who's the king of Babylon? <coughs> Esau Edom. Mm -hmm. Okay, right now it's Biden or Trump. Some people say Trump still, who knows, man? But Esau Edom is in charge, all right? All right? It says, uh, thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, how hath the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked right. and the scepter of the ruler. The Lord did it, that's how. That's right. That's right. And it, that's the only one that's gonna do it, mm -hmm. okay? The only one that's uh, going to have the ability to take this man out of the power is Yahweh Shai. Right, right. Because Yahweh Shai put him in the power seat. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. It says, uh, He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger, is persecuted and none hindered. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee. Because when the white man is taken out of the power seat, the earth is going to be in a rejoicing state. Yeah. Even the trees is going to be rejoicing. Uh, yeah. Okay? Yeah. It says, yea, the trees, the fir trees rejoice at thee. And the cedars of Lebanon sing, since thou art laid down, no fellow feller has come up against us. I don't know if they still, if it's still on. They used to so called axemen. When these devils, they just chopping trees down, yeah, man. Yeah, they just chopping trees. Okay? The Amazon, remember the whole thing with the Amazon burning yep. up the Amazon forest. Yep. You know? But this is the point. It says, Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirred up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. 
It has raised up their thrones. It has raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. All they that speak and say unto thee, Are thou also become weak as we? Are thou become like unto us? This is the point. Salakia. Thy pump. What's the word pump mean? Uh, pride. That pride. These, like the brother was explaining at the coffee shop, you had them a proud ass cracker bitch. Okay, because they, they they naturally proud like that, and they miss being able to talk to us and do shit to us any old kind of way, man. Yeah. They miss that, man. Oh, they, that's yeah, that's that's under the slogan of "Make America Great." That's again. A, that's what Mac all about. Yeah. Because remember when Trump was like, in the old days, man, no, nah, they would have got him. They, he wouldn't have made it past the, uh, it was at one of his rallies. Yeah, yeah he remember that. Time. You know what I'm saying? He said in the old days, he wouldn't have did that. He wouldn't have made it past uh, the third row. Okay? He was talking about Jake getting fucked up by these crackers, man. That's not him, man. This was like, man, not having nothing and Esau having everything. That's right. No power to defend ourselves. And then we have to work for him for free to keep his estate flush. Uh, yeah. And I was watching that documentary with, with Trump and, um, you know, they've been saying make America great. Well, and I, and I noticed they said it in that show back way in uh, Bill Clinton. That was a part of his campaign. So I'm thinking to myself, hold up, what the, what the, what the fuck? What you mean make America great in the fucking 80s? Yeah, because the it's, 70s? it's all the same playbook. Like, what the fuck? Everybody was cool. Everybody was doing decent. It wasn't like super, but everybody, was, it wasn't like, it was nothing really going on. So what the fuck you mean make only America thing, great? The only thing going on was the uh, the war on drugs. Well, what you was the war on Jake. Yeah, that's it. it. It just goes to show you it was back then they were talking about putting you niggas back in slavery. Back in slavery. Or the Israelites, period. Yeah. In slavery, man. Yeah. 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 Emmett Till was just one example, you know? There were many Emmett Tills. Yeah. yeah. And that was back in uh, 1955. That wasn't that long ago. It wasn't even 100 years ago. Yeah. Uh, not even 75 years ago. Right? Um, it says, Thy pomp is brought down to the grave. And the noise of thy vows, the worm is, is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee, because this place is corroded. Yeah. yeah, it's decaying. Okay, you gotta, you gotta uh, zigzag your car over goddamn potholes. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. All right, you got some of these bridges around Babylon ain't been serviced in over twenty years. Mm -hmm. Okay, the pipe system, the yeah, the water plumbing water. system, because. Going back to when they were building, you had like all the major buildings in the, in the downtown areas. The water system, the water piping is goddamn metal. It still is to this day, but the newer technology is what they call PEX. PEX piping is it's plastic. And it's, you know, it's, 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 it's better than uh, goddamn metal, man. Because what happens to water uh, uh, metal when water was constantly uh, uh, touching it. And we talking about cheap ass metal. It oh, rusts. Yes, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And bacteria grows. Yeah, in certain spots it used to be better. copper. Well, we don't, well, yeah, we, we, copper. he saw that. Yeah. He saw Bill his shit on, uh, with copper. You yeah, know right? what I'm saying? But they show, I was, that's the spirit. Because I was just watching yeah, something yesterday. Copper. And the dude was like in some uh, apartment buildings or something. And he, and he took down the pipe. The water pipe, man, the inside of that motherfucker like a, a different world <laughs> like we're creatures doing yeah. slug, slug creatures that's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it because like it got a tentacle tentacle hanging out there yeah it was <laughs> like tentacles all around that motherfucker i'm talking about all the way around it was like little tentacles coming out in the water i was like oh man that's why i'm gonna do toward up. the top might as well be toward the top it is yeah that's what happened that tap water fucking that's destroy it, it Jay. that tap water it it mess you up quick, quick. you know run. You runs. and it's crazy because jake in the world they don't be liking the fuck with the tap water you do got those jake that do but you got a bulk of jake they get bottled they buy a bottle of water man because everybody know the shit is the tap water jacked up yeah how is it everybody know it and then it just stays like that right 
It's been jacked up since the days we was drinking out of far, uh, water, water, water hose. hose. Yep. It's been cooked cold. up ever it's since then. Fire. Fire. Same yeah. pipes. <laughs> After we used to get the busting yeah. flips, busting back flips, playing yeah. basketball. No that, 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 that shit tastes that that fire. Cool. That shit was tearing your brain up. Blue. Blue. Remember your school uh, little that little one button yeah. Yeah. and water the water fountain and the water fountain and shit. Man, they had all that white and green shit. You always wonder what the hell is that? Man, that was full ride and heavy metal. Yeah, that, the green is heavy metals and the white yeah, is, green, is the cal the uh, calcium full ride and all that bullshit. Yeah. And when it dry, you would see it. Like, yeah. So yeah. Like, it, like you said, uh, that pop, Esau's pop is gonna be brought down low. Yep. All right. That all that pride that they got, it's gonna be, it's gonna be taken. If it's already being taken, okay. They see that good old America circling the drain. Man. It's through. Okay. Right. It's, it's through. And the Most High has put it in their spirit to, to understand that they got judgment to pay for. Yeah, yeah, man. That's what they got a judgment to pay for. All, for all, yeah. for everything that they've done. Yeah. And I want to go get, try to get some. Uh, Wifey uh, went to go get some uh, some blueberries and shit because I have smoothies in the morning and uh, we use the blueberries but we use the ones that's in the in the bag and the uh, frozen. the frozen ones yeah, yeah. you know the uh, non uh, GMO boys right from uh, Sprouts them motherfuckers went up to like almost seventeen dollars yeah, a said, bag duh. yeah duh. oh snap. pretty much yeah that's a duh. you know what I'm saying with tax. <laughs> So you, yeah, that's 20 bucks, man, for a bag of blueberries. Ain't even that much in the motherfucker, man. I'm like, God damn. Yeah, it's all good, man. He ain't got no shoes on for his, uh... I got him. Go ahead. Go see your Yep. This is all going back to this. Going back to this man's pride. This is Obadiah. Verse 3, it says, The pride of thine heart have deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock. Right. You saw even all the pride that you that you have is is, is deceived you. Yeah. Okay. So. Whose habitation is high, mm -hmm. that saith in his heart, who shall bring me, who shall bring me down to yeah. the ground? And you see your you see your society going down. So. You either might thought you was never gonna go in. You know? And you see, it's, it's your people that's bringing it down. Yeah. yeah it's your own kind. You know, it's your own kind. <laughs> you can't blame none of this shit that's happening on the so-called black, Latino, and Native American, man. Because we ain't making up no laws. All right? It ain't it ain't the so-called black man uh, uh, making it mandatory for schools to teach your children about all these different goddamn genders. That's the so-called white man doing that shit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The whistleblowers are your people. You know what I'm saying? We listen to them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But they mostly be eat them. Yeah. You know? Psalm 64. Yeah. Matter of yeah. fact, let's go there. Can I grab this one? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. You were finished with that now? Yeah, I'm finished with that. Yeah. It's uh, Jeremiah 50 and uh, <clears throat> 31. It says, Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud, saith the Lord, the power of hosts, for thy day is come. The time that I will visit thee, and the most proud shall stumble and fall, and none shall raise him up. And I will kindle a fire in his cities, and it shall devour all round about him. Mm -hmm. Nuclear fire. Bro. Mm -hmm. Psalm 64. Yeah, you want to go to the top? Yeah, you want to start. Yeah. Psalm 64, 1. It says, a Psalm of David. Hear my voice, O power. In my prayer, preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. Yeah. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. And, and, and what they're doing is, is the counsel of the wicked. The secret counsel of the wicked is what's happening. They're, they're shutting down society, man. Making it very hard on people. What you think King David was talking about? All right, he was talking about this time, man. Yeah. David was on the throne. He got to put his hazards on. Nah, don't come over here. Go ahead. It says, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the workers, 
from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Yep, the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. What do you think? Right? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, go ahead. It says, who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. Yeah. And that's that's coming through legislation. All right. The small hats put in uh put the law in there to, to ban the uh, holy scriptures. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, they yeah. they deem it anti uh anti semitism. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right? Them bitter words are coming by way of legislation, man. Mm -hmm. And it's all geared at these people on the sign, you Israelites. That's right. And, and, and if you are other nation, you ain't on the sign, you're going to get caught up in it too. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. It says, um... Fuck you! It says... It says that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. So... Uh -huh. And that's what's happening. Jake is being shot at in secret and don't even know it. Yeah, man. Yep. Okay? This whole setup is shooting at you secretly. How is it? It's killing you because it's turning you from the most high. Right. Even if you are so-called successful in this society. All right? Your success came at the hand of you putting your house side <laughs> behind you. Putting this truth behind you. He looking like that. There ain't nobody in there, bro. <laughs> Go ahead. It says, um, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect, suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. Uh-huh. They and, and they, gonna, they gonna start shooting uh, blatantly soon. Okay? It's gonna be blatant shots at you. Okay? When they when they when they uh shut these cities down and uh 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 kill this power. And, and tell you uh, uh, the only way you're gonna be able to eat and do all, uh, uh, you know, leave your home, you know, uh, go to the store, be a 15 minute cities, you're gonna have to get the mark of the beast. Yeah. Go ahead. It says um, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect, suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an the evil matter. And the, the evil matter is this new world order. All right? Go ahead. They commune of laying snares privately. Mm -hmm. They say, who, sh who shall see them? Right. They're like, 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 for example, this whole, uh, 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 what they call it, climate, uh, uh, uh climate change, climate change agenda. That's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. That shit ain't real. Yeah. Warming. Global, Global warming. Global warming. That's yeah. bullshit, man. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't okay. That. That's because they're using technology, man. Right. That, that's it, bro. You see that, that is it. They're using technology, so they're gonna have. They gotta have an excuse for why this shit is happening, man. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's the technology. Is is pearl because of devices that has come into the world, man. Yeah. You know. Climate yeah. change. Yeah. They um. But you that's know. that's an excuse so Esau can use that technology yeah. to destroy shit. Yeah. Yeah. And then now you can't go to this city. Now you gotta come to this city, right. which is a 15 minute city. You see what's what's they gonna pack you in these cities, man. Right. Yeah. You seen um over there in Texas, them brothers catching hell over there in the middle yeah, of uh, uh, tornadoes, tornadoes and shit. Yeah, yeah, what the fuck? fuck? They brothers talking about like in, in, in Texas is similar to California with when it comes to heat, cold and it's supposed to be hot over there right now. Yeah. And then brother, somebody, and he was the brother was doing a show. He was like, "Y'all don't hear that thunder in the back? It's storm. It's storming right now." And that was this week. I'm like, "Damn, it's storming." This is uh. And then why Texas? Yeah. Yeah, why Texas, Texas? Texas is normally hot because they hey. because they know them Texans. They know them Texans is gonna uh go gun for gun with them motherfuckers. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And yeah. Texas is like separate from the other states. Yeah. Right. Go ahead. It said. Jake got a five fifty. Yeah, he jumped off the motorcycle. He put on his. Jake just don't get it. 
Jake brought it to Jake. No, rolling on that E, man. But that's spiritual, too, that we're talking about it. Because you rolling on E in the spirit, man. With the spirit, your, your spiritualness and, and, and your connection with the Lord, you you, you on E, man. And, and the Lord had a breakdown right next break to the Breakdown. And he came, came sat down for a minute and didn't even really listen, man. Yeah, he said, he wasn't he, what he really wanted was to ask for some help. Yeah, that's what he like, wanted. Be that's real, like, man. You could have probably got some help. That's yeah, right. that's how, like, I was, like, you know, he, he didn't ask. That's what he wanted. Okay. Yeah. Well, go ahead. It says, um, uh, they search out in Psalm 64 and 6. It says, they search out iniquities. They encompass a diligent search. Both the inward thoughts of every one of them in the heart is deep. So this devil, he, he's going to the to the to the extent of figuring out how to get the the world to this new world order. Look at look at look how he got everybody messed up with the uh with Juice this supply. Trump thing. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Look, look like that's crazy. That's a devised uh, yeah, uh, uh, a devised uh, plan. Read that part again, man. Yeah. Yep. It says they search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. A diligent search. Meaning they, they don't leave no stone unturned. Yeah. And they got a plan Z. Yeah. All right? If this don't work, we're going to do this. Yeah. And if they do this, we're going to do that. Yeah. yeah. They got, they got a, every time, every corner, you they got a play for you. But they ain't got a play for those who, who know your how about right. Shimei 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 man. Right, right. We got that. the cheat code. Yeah. This is what we out here trying to tell y'all, man. Uh, yeah. The Lord has given us the cheat code. Yeah. All right, we already checkmated his ass. Yeah. Right. We watching him make moves while we sitting there blowing the whistle. La la la. Yeah. You know, come on, motherfucker. Make that move so we can check, so we can uh, checkmate your ass, man. Yeah. yeah. We got you in check. Yeah. That's right, man. And it's, uh, it's crazy because it, uh, it's the, the hovercock with dodge, but uh, the Lord opening up our mind to the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's we, right, figured, we figured out by it's written here. That's why. That's right. This is what uh, uh, has has us uh, <laughs> uh, 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 rooted and grounded. Yeah. That's right. You don't see us? Yeah, we may complain about the shit that's going on, but we know why and we deal with it. Mm -hmm. We just deal with it, man. It. You ain't gonna see us uh, writing letters to our goddamn mayors and governors. <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't gonna see us uh, uh, handing out pamphlets. Vote for this. Uh, uh, person, because they gonna do this for us in our city. We, we don't give a fuck, man. Yeah, that's that's right. Right, man. Hey, if it was up to us, hey, start locking people up. Yeah. Start rounding up, motherfuckers, man. Yeah. Even if you gotta come get us, right? right. <laughs> because man, once you do that, that the Lord gonna intervene. Check, check, check turn that frequency on, man. Check check. Some, God damn it. <laughs> it's over with, man. Great society. Oh, Scare the shit out the uh, people, uh, man. What did they call it that? That was, uh, what scripture was that? Psalm 64. Psalm 64. 64, I got one. This is, Stay uh, there, though. Don't, don't leave. Psalm 36 and 4. Uh, matter of fact, I started at 1. It says, the, transgress the transgression of the wicked said within my heart that there is no fear of the Heavenly Father before his eyes. Mm -hmm. For he flattered himself in his own eyes until his iniquity be found to be hateful yep and that's and that's what they're doing with this new world order all right they flattering themselves we got them yeah you know they really think trump is gonna come save the day they think trump is with them and trump is on our side ha uh ha -huh. they laughing behind the scenes they flattering themselves yeah but they ain't flattering themselves about us we put fear in their ass Okay? And not, I'm saying, the true men of the Lord, man. The Israelites put fear in this devil. That's right. Because he knows that what's written in this book is going to come to pass. That's oh, right. Yeah. And we bringing it to him straight to his face. Straight right. In the face. That's right. What? Verse 3. The words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. He hath left off to be wise and to do good. He left that off. You know, he, he left that off in the beginning. Yeah, that's out of there. And when he was a uh, king. Yeah. Oh shit, even when he was a serpent. But it was clear when he was king. Because the Lord told him, if thou doest, if thou doest good, shouldest thou not be accepted. Right. But he can't do good. Yep. It says, verse 4, this is the point. 
He devises mischief upon his bed. He setteth himself in a way that is not good. He abhorreth not evil. Yeah. He's a treasure to this year, So he meditate with wickedness, man. He meditating that, you know, in, 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 in ways to where he ain't getting no sleep, man. Yeah. Because he's meditating so hard and in the lab and and uh, creating this and doing that. You know what I'm saying? To, to destroy us, man. To, to bring about his NWO. Yeah, yeah, sure. Remember in the movie uh, Back Home City? Oh, he's doing the Lord's work. Yeah, he said, I'm doing God's work. Yeah, and he had yeah. a whole goddamn torso opened up. Yeah. That person's still alive. That person's still alive. Man, it's a, um, <laughs> I forget where it is. Maybe if a brother on the board know. Um, it had to either be Elijah or Alicia. Basically, somebody was trying to come up against Israel, and Elijah and Alicia knew everything that they were doing. The Lord was revealing it to Elijah and Alicia, and uh, and the king was like, "How the fuck do they know?" And he says, "It's, it's a prophet over there in the midst of the camp." That's how they know. But I bring that up because that's how it's like we're the same Steve. We know yeah. what the hell moves you're making because the Spirit of the Lord has revealed yeah. it to us. Yeah. Right? He 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 can do it with nothing. But he revealed this secret to his servants, the prophets. It was one prophet that took that goddamn juice. Not one prophet of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh took that juice. Nor did they tell people that listened to him to take that goddamn juice. Right. Okay. Right. Because the scriptures tell you, never trust thine enemy. Never trust thine enemy. All right. Never trust your enemy. This motherfucker giving out free shots. You get a sack of weed. You get a burger. You get a uh, lottery ticket to win a million, you get a cigar, <laughs> I mean a series. Yeah. Nor did we get that that fucking thing put up our nose either, man. Yeah. You know? right. I remember when the car when it first happened. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's that, brother, that, brother, that brother said he questioned they asked. He's yeah. like, well let me use a regular Q tip. Why I gotta use a Q tip in this yeah. the pack? And he was reading the, the paperwork. Before, because they made you sign before you did it, yeah. and it was basically if you if you get messed up, you wouldn't you couldn't sue him. Yeah, yeah, he was doing. And he, 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 he he missed out on a job because of that. He missed a big job because yeah. it was like for a movie or something like that. Right? You know what I'm saying? But uh, instead of doing it, he was like he read it. He was like, Nah, I'm cool. He stayed with the Lord, man. Yeah, that was that's a hell of a temptation, wisdom, man. Wisdom, yeah. man. He he used wisdom. That was bestowed upon him, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it came out after that that what they coped them Q-tips in is uh, I think it's called Epo or E something. It started with an E. It's basically coolant. Yeah. It's basically goddamn coolant you put in your car, man. Uh, yeah. And it's got those fibers in there. So once you get it, those fibers release in, in your shit and they stay in your shit and they bad they get to your brain. Your blood, they get to your uh, blood brain barrier, man. So now you got them, them uh, artificial fibers on your brain. Yeah. That's why they're sticking it so hard. They're yeah. trying to get to your brain. Yeah, that yeah. Girl screaming. Ah! <laughs> it's a car with her stupid ass. Yeah. Oh, oh. That shit, man. That motherfucker, that moral, he's like, oh, hell yeah. no. Nah. And they don't just put it in there, they twirl it. Yeah, yeah. they go all the way back in. Well, that's what they was doing. Like, like it said in Psalm 64 and 6, they search out iniquities. They exactly. accomplish a diligent yeah. search. Bro, but, exactly. but here it is. You could go to a job, right? And how do they do the DN? How do they, when they used to test for drugs, right? What they used to do was, if you didn't have no hair, I mean, if you didn't have, uh, uh, if you didn't want it to, the, the, uh, the, uh, the, swab. The, the swab, they used to take one of your hairs, bro. Yeah. Yeah. So they could use your hair as DNA, man. You could, you could bite off a fucking fingernail and give them that fucking fingernail. That's DNA right there. You can spit in a goddamn vial and that's DNA. Yeah. Come yeah. on now. Piss, anything. Any, any anything. Type of body they can foods. use your piss, any, any, anything that comes from you. Yeah. They, they got the technology. But it was, it was a part of a uh, more sinister, sinister plan. Exactly. And that's why they came with that technology, uh, the CRISPR Cas9. Yeah. The, uh, the, uh, yeah. Gene, the, the gene the editing, editing yeah. uh, uh, technology, <laughs> which is the mRNA uh, V8. X. All right, go back. Yes. It says they search out iniquities 
they accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them in the heart is deep. Yeah. But the heavenly father shoot shall the heavenly father shall shoot at them with an arrow, uh -huh. and suddenly shall they be wounded. They shall not make their own tongue. I'm, I'm sorry. Yes. They shall make their own tongues to fall upon them. That's why you got a bunch of Edomite whistleblowers. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Okay? That's it. That's coming out telling you. But they don't even have the full truth. They telling you the truth about what's going on with their society yeah. as far as <clears throat> a corrupt government. Yeah. But then you got other Edomites that's going to come and save the day. No. Okay? They still, they lost. Yeah. We have the 100% truth, okay? Yeah. yeah, like they just had Mike Adams, he went on uh, Alex Jones' um, co-host show, basically the war room. He yeah. went, Mike Adams was just on there this week, and he had a whole thing of lined up uh, people that he interviewed with, he said he's gonna be releasing. So it's just like, he, the tongue falling out, they saying everything, Yeah. and they can't stop it. They can't stop it. Yeah. And, and that's part of the plan too. That's a part of the plan, mm -hmm. all right, for, for all these, uh, you know, of course you have some people who are uh, uh, sincerely exposing what they believe to be the truth, and then you have uh, agents that's coming out uh, uh, speaking the truth, like Alex Jones. Yeah. 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 What? It says, um, uh, so shall they make their own tongues to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall fly, shall flee away, and all men shall fear and shall declare the work of the Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. For they shall wisely consider of his doings. Mm -hmm. right. The reason why you know it's the Heavenly Father because what the prophet's been speaking on the, uh, to the masses, man. They all them guys, yeah. them, them guys are telling the truth concerning what's happening. And they've been tired. We talk, we give the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, the credit every time. Every time. You know, you know the God, the God of the Bible, that same God that you've been reading and you ain't understand who you truly was. That's the person doing this. Yeah. This is his, his this is his earth. And this is his plan. Yeah. You know? That's right. And we, we take you in all angles. We show you that really this is the lesson that the Lord is showing in the earth of what it what it looks like when wickedness rules. Because then it's gonna shift over to what it looks like when righteousness rules. Right you know? And Lord gonna get you wicked ass pastors, man. Yeah. Man, that video I yeah. seen. Yeah. And when he just he just uh, he was uh, he was like, yeah, I just want some prayer. He was like, man, get your ass out of here, man. He was like, man, come get his ass. <laughs> he walked up. He was like, man, you interrupting and shit. He was like, you want to, he was like, he basically, he, all he wanted was a prayer and shit. He was like, yeah, I just want you to pray for me. He was like, man, get your ass out of here. In front of the whole congregation. Damn, see? He told the uh, security, get his ass out of here, interrupting my sermon. See, that? them dudes are full of themselves. And, and now it's, it's just super ridiculous. He just embarrassed them and, and, and kicked them out because he wanted a prayer and shit. See the other one where uh, big old big gut was in the back of the uh, car giving a 16 year old some fellatio. Oh yeah, right. You know? Yeah, I seen that. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And the police pulled him over. He in the back of a abandoned golf course. He was like, he basically told him, so like, yeah, I was sucking his dick. Yeah. He said it. I was like, God damn. It was a pastor too, man. Uh, withered them first. That was in the Psalms, right? It, it got one more. Okay, one. go ahead. Uh, back in Psalm 64 10, it says, The righteous shall be glad in the Lord, and shall trust in him, and all the upright in heart shall be glory. That's oh, right. That's it. Now let's go to uh, Ezekiel 22. This okay. is uh, Ezekiel. Now ultimately, this was uh, against Israel, but now it supplies Esau. All right? Now this applies to Esau Edom. It, it applied to us in the ancient world because we were so wicked 
But now this applies to Esau, and, and also too, Esau has taken on the uh, the Bible as his, pursuing the Psalms. Uh, what's that? Psalm fifty. Psalms fifty. Yeah, 16. yeah. Fifty and sixteen. Yeah. Where it says, uh, uh, where it says, uh, how? Get, it, get, yeah, get that real quick. Uh, Psalm 50 and uh, 16. But unto the wicked, the Heavenly Father said, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my company in thy mouth? Uh -huh. Seeing thou hatest instruction, and castest my words behind thee, when thou sawest a thief, then thou con con consentest with him, uh -huh. and hast been partakers with adulterers. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thy own mother's son. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou, thou thoughtest that I was altogether such a one as thyself. That's it, that's it. That's all we need. All right? That's all we need. Okay, now let's go to Ezekiel 22. Because now this applies to you, Esau. All right, go ahead. Ezekiel 22 and 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Now, thou son of man, wilt thou judge? Wilt thou judge the bloody city? Mm -hmm. Yea, thou shalt show her all her abominations. And that's what's happening right now. Yeah, and I got you again on that. Oh, that's what's happening. Yep. Everything is being brought to light yeah. in America. Yep. You starting to learn about what they feed you? How they trying to kill your ass with the food? They trying to kill you with the water. They trying to kill you with the air. Okay. They try to kill you when you go in a hospital, when you need some help. Yep. Everything is being brought and shown to your face. Read that again, man. Yep. That's right. It says, now thou son of man, will thou judge? Will thou judge the bloody city? Yea, thou shalt show her all her abominations. Mm -hmm. Then say- And this is what we're here for. Because this is the reading off. See, not only is Trump guilty of 34 accounts, but Esau, you guilty of centuries accounts of, of, of felonies, man. Yeah. yeah. Okay? Yeah. You you guilty you you guilty on all counts, man. That's right. No time in history where you where you uh uh where, where we can say, okay, well yeah, he wasn't he wasn't going off right here. <laughs> Every time in history you was off. Oh, Every time in history. Go It's Amos 1 and 11. It says, Thus saith the Lord, For three transgressions of Edom, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof. That's right. Because he did pursue his brother with the sword, and did cast off all pity, and his anger did to tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. Yep. That's right, man. So, so now, everything is being, and we talk, we learned about how you used to, you used to take Jake's hair and slave you, and you made fucking cushions and chairs, man. Yeah. You used to take Jake's skin up and uh, uh, hey, use their skin to make jackets and shit. Make oil. Make oil. Yeah. You made a goddamn, uh, you oiled a wagon with uh, uh, Nat Turner's oil, man. Yeah. His goddamn uh, body. Skin. Geronimo, you, you drink out of his skull. Yeah. yeah. So all that we, is being sold to you. Yeah. You can't hide no more. Yeah, we had that Jake roasted on the table like a like a turkey, man. Yeah. Hey, shit, Jake was getting roasted and hung left and right during the uh, Jim Crow era, man. Yeah. And before that. The genitals was cut off, eating. put in jars. Y'all was eating Jake, too. Living yeah, man. Yeah, you, wait, George, George Washington. George Washington. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's the spirit. spirit. <laughs> George Washington was, yeah, his, Jake his, teeth. his teeth was made from Jake teeth, man. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. See? So everything is being shown to you, all right? Just like when you go to court, he saw, okay, one count this, uh, 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 you know, whatever, whatever it is, they tell you what you're being uh, judged for, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's what's happening in this society right now, man. Why you think them Palestinians is all at these colleges? Yeah. Okay, even though we know it's controlled, all right? But who's supplying Israel with the money and the weapons? This place? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay? So you're being shown your iniquity. You're being shown your abominations, man. So go back. Go back to Ezekiel 22. Yep. Read that verse again. Yep. Ezekiel 22 and 2. Now, thou son of man, wilt thou judge? Wilt thou judge the bloody city? Yea, 
Thou shalt show her all her abominations. Mm -hmm. Then say thou, thus saith the Lord power, the city shed its blood in the midst of it, that her time may come and maketh idols against herself to defile herself. Yep. Thou art become guilty. How many, there's, there's so many idols in America. It's, it's, it's like ancient Babylon. Yeah. They had a God for every day of the year. Yeah. Motherfuckers yeah. now, they buy shoes. They don't even wear them motherfuckers. They put them in a little case just to look at them. And they buy them for, for thousands of dollars, man. Yeah. And you know, shoes are made to be walked in, man. You know what I'm saying? Here it is, they put in a goddamn case just to look at it and say, oh, I got that one. You know? That's a low level item of these people. Old, yeah. But let's deal with uh, uh, the idols that they put up as uh, to uh, worship. It. Yeah. Like the phallic symbol, the Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. All right? Thanksgiving. Okay? Everybody know about the Isle of uh, the, uh, Sonoma County and uh, with the uh, Isle of Mole. Okay? The city shed its blood in the midst of it, that her time may come and make it idols against herself to devour. Thou art become guilty in thy blood that thou hast shed. You guilty. That's why they're trying to get rid of uh, uh, slavery from uh, history. They call it involuntary servitude. Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> involuntary servitude is what is what you did to the uh, the Latinos and the Gadites. The so-called uh, northern, well, not the so-called, but the northern kingdom of the nation of Israel, the so-called Latinos and Native Americans and Seminoles. And then you brought Judah, Benjamin, and Levi over here. And, they, and that was voluntarily, they voluntarily said, you know what? We just going to uh, fall on your sword. Matter of fact, tie me up and uh, uh, take one swipe with your sword and see if you can cut me in half. Hell no, nah, man. Matter of fact, tie one arm up and the other two two horses yeah. this horse that horse and one leg to that horse and that horse and you can just fucking Rip ride to the sunset yeah. Yeah. all right oh. ain't no such thing as a uh, uh, voluntary uh servitude man yeah. okay check the tide to remember they'll be able to the pole thyself in thine idols which thou has which thou has made yeah this it, place is defiled on idols man it's yeah. defiled they got a show called american idol yeah, yeah. okay yeah because <laughs> when, when 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 these uh when you when 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 when, when they uh go to schools who's your idol all right you know my idol was this my idol was that yeah okay yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, they even have that. Like when we go to that one spot, uh, the Mediterranean spot, they have like their own uh, American Idol with those other ones. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. They showed the Babylon has been the golden yeah. cup. Yeah. In the Lord's hand, that made yeah. all the earth yeah. drunk. Yeah. Yeah. Moab got one too. Yeah. yeah. All of them. Mm -hmm. All of them do. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go ahead. It says. Uh, uh, I'll read it from the top again. It says. Thou, thou art become guilty in thy blood that thou hast shed, and hast defiled thyself in thine idols which thou hast made, and thou hast caused thy days to draw near, and art come even unto thy years. Therefore have I made made thee a reproach unto the heathen. Is not is not America a reproach unto all these other nations right now? Yeah. 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 They have reproach. That's why you had to do for my man at the UN with his eyes buck wide open. America, you're next. <laughs> yeah, that one. You know? You're reproach now. You yeah. no longer the superpower of the earth. Go ahead. It says, I have made thee a reproach unto the heathen and a mocking to all countries. Those that be near and those that be far from thee shall mock thee, which are in infamous What's yeah they laughing at you because you got homosexuals and you and you uh, fighting your wars man yeah, and, and, and man they had a women. homosexual uh i don't know if he was a, a general uh, he was a tranny but he was a military dude and the caption was 
we ain't winning no more wars. <laughs> and it was his, his ass uh, uh, talking. A whole, a whole tranny, man. Crazy. Wow. Okay? So you a laughing stock to the world. So read, read verse 5 and that's it. Yep. It says, Those that be near and those that be far from thee shall mock thee, which are infamous and much vexed. That's right. And that's what's happening. They mock you. That's why these different countries are making uh, commercials in their lands of, of like China. They had a commercial in their in their uh, in their country of America going up in nuclear flames. Yeah, right. They mocking you, man. Yeah, wasn't yeah, somebody yeah, singing? Kind of they were singing Russia. a song with the Russians. crowd. Yeah, yeah Russia, Russia. Russia. They were singing that song in the crowd, talking about America be destroyed. You know, in other Death words, to America. The whole world is on that sentiment. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. They call you the, uh, in the, the great Satan. The great Satan. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They got uh, feed the children uh, <coughs> commercials in China for America. The same one, yep. Damn. Check that out. Positive. Check that out. I just looked up because we were talking how they allow transgenders in the military. And I was like, what year allowed transgenders to join the military? It says November 29th, uh, 2016. You know, so that was under uh, Obama, man. Yeah. And he, he was the one that brought in the whole yeah, he little brought, little he brought in the whole Babylon Bible. Yeah. He made it well, Why, though? Because he Michael. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. so he's been a fan. Yeah. That dude Larry Sinclair came out and said that Obama liked to smoke crack while he getting his rod blown by yeah. a boat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? That's everything. Like we just read in Ezekiel, man, your abominations are being brought forth. Yeah, the skirt is being lifted up. The people that's controlling this society are all wicked. Wicked. wicked they all hell, wicked, man. man. All wicked. wicked. Yeah. Satan worshipers. You got something? Yeah, I got something. Go ahead. And then somebody hold Jeremiah 49 and Jeremiah 50. No, just, just going back to what I had. Ask oh, brother to grab it. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, the second king 6 and 11. He said, Therefore the heart of the king of Assyria was sore troubled for this thing. And he called his servants and said unto them, Will you not show me which of us is for the king of Israel? And one of their servants said, None, my lord, O king, but Elisha, the prophet that is in Israel, telleth the king of Israel the words that thou speakest in thy bedchamber. And he said, Go and spy where he is, that I may send and fetch him. And it was told him, saying, Behold, he is in Dothan. <laughs> so I brought that out. Just going back to, we, we able to break these things down and know these things about what's happening next. You know, what's going down with Esau is because the Yahweh Shadon Shai reveals it. Yeah, we, 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 we see his move before he even make it. Okay, and that's the beauty of having this knowledge. All right, knowing is half the battle. Right. Yeah, bro. Uh, uh, Jeremiah. Oh, uh, you. Uh, what you want? Fifty. Four forty-nine. Either one. You can go. Go to fifty. Go to fifty. Start at the top. This is uh. And these these chapters are strictly these are these are prophecies. Of the, the downfall of Babylon the Great. Right. America, man. Yeah. Yeah. This is Jeremiah 51. The word that the Lord spake against Babylon and against the land of the Chaldees by Jeremiah the prophet. It says, Declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard. Publish and conceal not. Say, Babylon is taken. Hell is confounded. Merodach is broken in pieces. Her idols are confounded. Her images are broken in pieces. Yeah, don't nobody believe in the whole bullshit America had to offer no anymore. It's over with. Okay? For out of the north there cometh up a nation. Oh, they're idols. Uh, 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 broken down. Uh, uh, read that part again. Remember during 2020? They were snatching down all these so-called idols that yeah. founded America. Oh, yeah, right, right, they were snatching yeah, they were statues down, man. Yeah, the Columbus statues yeah, were getting spirit. tossed into the lakes. Yeah. yeah. Because people are start were waking up to what he truly was about. Yeah. Go ahead. It says, uh, verse two. It says, "Declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard. Publish and conceal not. Say, Babylon is taken. 
Baal is confounded. Merodach is broken in pieces. Her idols are confounded. Her images are broken in pieces. For out of the north there cometh up a nation against her, which shall make her land desolate. That's right. And that's talking about Russia. All right? Russia is going to lead the charge in the nuclear destruction that we were talking about earlier. That's right. <clears throat> okay? Russia's going to lead that charge, man. Remember that video that Russia was like, man, we can, one, we, Without we, can, make noise. The, we can make the concrete melt. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? We could destroy you without making a noise. Yeah. 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 You yeah. said you'll see the smoke from Mexico. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's scriptural. Yeah. That's, that's scriptural. Yeah. That's uh, uh, Revelation 18, chapter. Yeah, yeah. They shall see the smoke of her burning. Yeah. Yeah. What? For out of the north there coming up a nation against her, which shall make her land desolate, and none shall dwell therein. That's right. They shall re they Ain't gonna be nobody left. You know, like they show you with like the fallout. Motherfuckers got to the bunkers and they was in there. People that uh, uh, well, didn't make it to the bunkers, they was fucked up. Just walking around, uh, 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 surviving. Ain't gonna be none of that, man. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Once the missiles go, it's over. It's over, man. Man, out here. Elder Pastor Berber ain't talking about this in church. He ain't Hell no. Nah. Hell no, nah, because he don't know it. Nah. That motherfucker just wants some money, man. That's it. That's Nigga, get it around on that side. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 that's what they're about. Money, man. That's the no fear of the world. That's why all the Wayne brothers put shit like that in the movies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they, that's they, why they, they put new. that scene in uh, they yeah. been new, bro. In uh, uh, they call Tyrone. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a heavy ass scene, man. You know, when David Allen Greer <laughs> played the pastor, yeah. everybody was in a trance. Yeah. And that's what that damn church do to you. Yeah, yeah I watched it. I rewatched it recently. I was like, yo, this is a heavy ass scene right yeah. here, man. Yeah, remember, yeah. It's in the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. I think, I think I, as long as I've known you, nigga, I ain't never seen you smile or uh, yeah. Yeah. laugh. Yeah. But the thing <laughs> is about that scene. Yeah. The pastor was he was he was he was he was created. Yeah. Okay? The gangster was created. Yeah. Your pimp was created. Your whore was created. All our people. All our people, man. They were created by who? Esau, Esau Edom, Edom, man. Edom. Yeah. Yep. What category yep. you fall under? Yeah, yeah which one you under? Yeah. You the pimp? You're the, you the gangster because that's what they promote. That's what they promote for us to be. Pimp, gangster, and whores. That's it. That's all Jake pretty much is when you round up what they're doing. And all that is against the law of the Heavenly Father for us yeah. to do. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Verse 4. In those days and in that time, said the Lord, the children of Israel shall come. Wait. Did I read 3? I just read 3. It says, uh, For out of the north there coming up a nation against her, which shall make her land desolate, and none shall dwell therein. Mm -hmm. They shall read they shall remove they shall depart both man and beast in those days and in that time saith the lord the children of israel shall come they and the children of judah judah together going and weeping they shall go and seek the lord their power they shall ask the way to zion with their faces thither, thitherward saying come and let us join ourselves to the lord in the perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten. Woo! And that, that goes to show you that chapter uh, was in reference to the ancient Babylon. Because back then, the northern kingdom was already up here on uh, in, the, in that captivity. It wasn't in that captivity. So Jeremiah was prophesying about today. And you know his brother in their face in the east. And we and we uh, doing what the first say. So we're, we're living in live prophecy. You know? That's right, man. We, we, this is the perpetual covenant. Yeah. All right. We back. Go ahead. It says, verse 6. My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused we, them. We, we, we were lost sheep, but we lost no more. Right. Go ahead. Because yeah. we back with the Lord, man. Right. The Lord, the Lord, uh, he, he, he came and got us. Woke us he up. woke us up. Lord will, when he comes, he's going to bring us up out of here. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Okay. 
it's, it was pretty dope with the brothers uh Dallas was breaking down uh the first time we were delivered we had to follow the chariot and walk yep. this time when we deliver we're gonna be in the same chariot you know what i'm saying yeah. not walking this time but in that same chariot that took us from egypt right yeah. but inside of it going out of here that's the only way to get up out of here yeah. this one, this one. More spectacular. Yeah, this one, but bro, this is it, perpetual means continual. Yeah, yeah. This is the the everlasting life that Yahweh Shah was talking about. Yeah, right. That's perpetual. Yeah. Verse six. My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds. My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. They have turned. They have turned them away. On the mountains, they have gone from a mount, from mountain to hill. They have forgotten. Their resting place. Yeah, which the mountain and the hill represent go represent government. Yeah, yeah. We've okay. been we've been doing everything, whatever society told us to do, what was the deemed success. Well, and they're doing it how they're doing it over here, doing that. Ain't none of it work, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you can't you, you conform to all the ways of every captivity we was in. Yeah, yeah. As a people. Okay? Yeah. Well, go ahead. It says verse seven. All that found them have devoured them. Every nation, especially Esau. <clears throat> Good. And their adversary not. Yeah. Why did why they say that? Because we sinned against the Lord. Good. Because they have sinned against the Lord. Yep. <laughs> so they know. And that's in the book of Judah. Yeah. If, if you know what I said exactly, I think yeah, it's five. a fourth chapter, four for five. I think it's five and like nine. Yeah. We're, we're, we're just five as to a sheep, you know, a lamb. And when you look at, like, when you go out to a restaurant, that's some of the most expensive uh, uh, meat. meat that you could buy, man. Yeah. Is that lamb. That's that, that's that good good. You know? You're doing good if you could go buy, buy you some lamb chops at a restaurant. With some mashed potatoes and some uh green beans. Uh, yeah, what are them asparagus. asparagus? Oh yeah. Asparagus. That's like a forty-four dollar plate right there. Right, right. Good. This is uh Judith chapter five, and I start at verse 17. It says, And whilst and whilst they sin not before they for their power, they prosper. Because the most because the power that hated iniquity you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta uh, get a little beat off of that bone. Because he was basically explaining that look, we can't go up in there unless they sin against their they power, their God. Yeah. If, you, if they haven't sinned against their God, you ain't gonna be able to get up in there. But if they have sinned, then we can, we're gonna be able to handle that. Go ahead. I'll start at verse 11. It says, Therefore the king of Egypt rose up against them and dealt subtly with them and brought them low with laboring and brick and made them slaves. Then they died unto their power, and he smote all the land of Egypt for incurable plagues. What do you think you might happen now? Because, because his people, the elect, because only the elect is the Lord's people right now. That's right. They cried to the Lord. What do you think he's going to do to America? The scriptures say, I will judge uh, America with plagues as before. Yep. Or, uh, yep. Yeah, I'm going to flag Egypt with plans as before. Egypt. Yeah, not America. Egypt. Yeah. Go ahead. That's right. It says, Then they cried unto their power, and he smote all the land of Egypt. The Lord going to smite this place. He's already smiting it. Them cicadas are uh, uh, wreaking havoc on them motherfuckers in the Midwest. Oh, yeah, you know what? Eat them is eating them, man. Yeah, he's frying them. Not just eat them. Jacob. Goops. I seen a goop woman had a whole goddamn bowl of them. Yeah. She was okay. rinsing them off and then she threw them in the pot. Ah. You know what I'm saying? Heating them up. Okay. Yeah, he said, Yo, cool. He said, Yo, cool. Okay, that's a plague, man. Them cicadas are a plague. Ah. Yeah, that's the one. The white woman was stuck in her car crying because oh, yeah. the cicadas yeah, yeah. was out. Yeah. She yeah. was crying, yeah. man. <laughs> How much more when it's real bad out here? Yeah. When it's a plague of goddamn men out here on a rampage to kill. You talking about some some shit you can step on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit you can just squash. Yeah. 
Yep. Go ahead. It says, and he smote all the land of Egypt with incurable plagues, so the Egyptians cast them out of their sight. And the Most High dried the Red Sea before them and brought them to Mount Sinai and, and Kadesh burning and cast forth all that smoke in the wilderness. Verse 15. So they dwelt in the land of the Amorites and they destroyed by their strength all them of Esabon. And passing over Jordan, they possessed all of the hill country. And they cast forth before them the Canaanite, the, the Pharisite, the Jebusite, and the Sycamite, and all the Girgashites. And they dwelt in that country many days. And whilst they sinned not before their power, while they sinned not before their power, they prospered. They, they good. Go ahead. Because the power that hated iniquity was with them. But when they departed from the way which he appointed them, they were destroyed in many battles, very sore. And, and that's what happened to them. A nigga wanted to know why, is the, why was the white man able to do this to us? Well, it's in the Bible, nigga. Right. We've been trying to tell y'all. Uh, yeah. Here it is, we dominate all this man's sports. From team sports to individual combat sports. Tennis, education. You know what I'm saying? We dominate every aspect of this man's society. And and you got Jake, that's the smartest on the planet. Yeah. You got we dominate little, everything. Everything. She, it's a, 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 it's a little girl and a, a little boy. They got the highest IQ in the world. But still, we at the bottom. But you know what they gonna do to them? They gonna recruit them for themselves. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That's exactly, oh yeah. That's it. That's the whole filtering system in school is a school. It's a filtering it's a, it's a system to get the minds that they need to further that bullshit. Yeah. yeah. Right. That's it. So go ahead. Uh, oh, yeah, go ahead. I was gonna say, show you that in, uh, Black Panther. I believe it was two. Oh, yeah. they, they went and got that girl from college. Yeah. She had braids right. in her hair. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Right. They right. needed to like practice some type of code trying to get their vibrating. Yeah. 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 With the she knew how to do it. Yeah. I show you that our people are the smartest in the world. Man. They show you that with uh, Taraji P. Hansen movie, Hidden oh, Figures. If it wasn't for them, them women right there, Jay, uh, I mean, not Jay, uh, he them with them. He wouldn't have been able, able to, to go to, up to the space. Right. Yeah, to propel his, his rockets and shit into space. Yeah, yeah. right. They needed a uh, 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 Israelite mind for them to get to that point. Uh, uh, treated her like shit too. But go ahead. Yep. It says. But when they departed from the way which he appointed them, they were destroyed in many battles very sore and were led captives into a land that was not theirs. Mm -hmm. And the temple of their power was cast to the ground and their cities were taken by the enemies. Now, now, who's the temple now? We are. Mm -hmm. Well, we, 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 we've always been the temple, but we had an actual temple in the ancient world. Okay, that physical temple was trampled, and now us as a people were trampled and cast down to the ground. Go ahead. Verse 19. But now are they returned to their power uh -huh. and are come up from the places where they were scattered. So now us, hopeful members of the elect, we have returned onto our power. Right? Mm -hmm. That's why Esau can't do nothing to us, man. Yeah. The Lord got us in that he got his head thin. He got each individual of the elect and his family or her family heads thin with angels protecting them. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. That's right. It says, but now are they returned to their power and are come up from the places where they were scattered uh -huh. and have possessed Jerusalem where their sanctuary is and are seated in the hill country for it was desolate. Now therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people and they sin against their power, let us consider that this shall be their ruin. And this is why Esau ain't made no move against the elect yet. Yeah. All right, go ahead. And let us go up and we shall overcome them. But if there be no iniquity in their nation, let my Lord now pass by lest their Lord defend them and their power before them. And that's what's getting ready to happen. The Lord is going to be with us and he's going to defend us. Yeah. 
Does, does it not? Is it not written? I shall defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. That's right. Yeah. What? And their power before them, and we become a reproach before all the world. And that's what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, Esau going to become that reproach. He's going to become that reproach, man. For all the world. Isaiah 14, tell yep. you that. Is this the man yep. that made the earth to tremble? Yep. They shake kingdoms. Is he going to try to fight against the Lord? Uh, what's that, 2nd Edges 13? Yeah. yeah He's going to get beat miserably. Yeah. He's going to get beat. So go back to Jeremiah 15. And then we'll read a couple more verses and we'll close it out. <clears throat> Jeremiah 50 and uh, uh, I'm sorry, 6. Oh, yeah, what it is today, man. Just, uh, we're feeling it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jeremiah uh, 50 and 6. It says, My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. They have turned them away on the on the mountain they have gone from mountain to hill they have forgotten their resting place all that found them have devoured them and their adversary said we offend not because they have sinned against the lord the habitation the habitation of justice even the lord the hope of their fathers remove out of the midst of babylon and go forth out of the land of the chaldeans mm -hmm. and be as the heat goats before the flocks for lo, I will raise, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon in assembly of great nations. World War Three, and that's being cooked up right now as we speak. Go ahead. Says, uh, for lo, I will, I will raise and cause to go up against Babylon in assembly of great nations from the north. Coast. And they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken. Their arrows shall be as of mighty expert men. None shall return in vain. And Chaldea shall be a spoil. All that spoil her shall be satisfied, said the Lord. Yep. So America's getting ready to be spoiled. I.e. why they let all those so-called migrants up in here. And you win troops. All right? They been spoiled. That's why all these stores are shut down because the smashing grounds. Yeah. Motherfuckers running up in uh, department stores, filling up trash bags and just walking right out. Yeah. Oofa lets you to have a, a glass case. Now they got they put a whole new fucking system where it's all bars and they got the you know the lock and key. It's all that motherfucker looks sturdy. Go ahead. But, uh, yeah, uh, let's see. Verse 11. Because ye were glad, because ye rejoiced, O ye destroyers of mine heritage. Uh -huh. Because ye are grown fat as a half red grass. That's what Esau yeah. has become. Go ahead. And bellow as bulls. Uh, your mother shall be sore confounded. Mm -hmm. She that bear you shall be ashamed. Behold. God damn. What? It says, uh, Behold, the, the, hind, the hindermost of the nations shall be as a wilderness, a dry land and a desert. Because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall holy, it, but it shall be holy desolate. I was this place will be holy desolate. Missiles. Nuclear destruction. Missiles, man. The Lord literally has to get rid of this place and leave no trace of it. Yeah, right. That's how wicked this place has been. That's like how the Lord did Sodom and Gomorrah in the other yeah. three cities. Yeah, it's gotta be burned. Burned up. Totally yeah. annihilated to where there's nothing left. Nothing. It's so wicked that it's gonna burn for for centuries. Very long time, yeah. Man. Yeah. A long time. Go ahead. It says, uh, verse 13, Because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at all her plagues. 
Put yourself in a ray. <laughs> yeah, right? Put yourself in a ray. That's what I say. It's a weird feeling, man. Last time we was out here, motherfuckers was pounding us and now everybody. <laughs> That's yeah. not the first motherfucker that rolled by on yeah. some bullshit. Yeah. But yeah. they in the right spirit though. They in the right spirit. That's that's right. Let's go. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? That's how you know we're getting closer. We want that. We want the fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's what me. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's what we want. That's what the scribe and Pharisees. They weren't they were not cheering for the Lord. They weren't cheering for the Lord. Come on. That's my Lord. Yep. Yeah. 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 To come against Babylon, man. Go ahead. Shoot at her. Spare no arrow. Not one missile will be uh, uh, saved. You have to say spare none. That means everyone that was that was created, them shit's going to be shot. Yep. Yeah. Ain't going to be no need for them in our kingdom. You know? Yeah, right? Ah. It says, for she has sinned against the Lord. Shout against her round about. She has given her hand. Her foundations are falling. Her walls are thrown down, for it is the vengeance of the Lord Yahweh. Take vengeance upon her, as she have done, do unto her. Cut off the sword from Babylon. Right, that, that's it. As she has done, do unto her. And everything that this place has done, they're getting ready to reap everything that they did. We're closing on Galatians 6 and 7. We're, we're, we're ending on that. It says Galatians chapter 6 verse 7. It says, Be not deceived. The heavenly Father is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And we're in the time of Esau getting ready to reap everything he's sown on the planet Earth. Right, bro. All right? So with that, we're going to get out of here. Lord Willis for everybody the street speaking. And we're going to continue to prophesy and do what we got to do to assure our give diligence to make our calling an election sure out here, man. Okay? And Esau, you're going down. That's right. No if, ands, or buts about it, man. That's right. So hurry up, quit pussy foot, and do what you gotta do. You got the people, eh? Motherfuckers are ready, man. You know, blow up something. Do something, man. You know, but we know it's all on your how about Shimmy our side time, man. So with that, we're gonna give all praise to our powers. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shad, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation and blessings to all the hopeful members of the elect. Shalom. Shalom.